Chapter 3221, is that it? The leader really is too powerful. Of course, back then, we used all kinds of ways to thrive and dust sky. But alas, we couldn't. Any creature, or even if a god spirit enters it, they will become commoners. They will not have any more powers to break through the barriers. Only the leader is immune to the dust sky suppression. He uses his own power to break dust sky. In this universe, only the leader can reach that level. They're just two humans. No matter how ridiculous they may seem, the leader can kill them with ease. No matter how many times I see this, the leader is always so shock-inducing to watch. It is hard to believe his might. In the God Chaos Party's headquarters, the God Chaos Party members watched this scene with nothing short of surprise. There were, however, some God Chaos Party members who were stone-cold and silent as they watched. Rocky D was one such person. His heart was thumping so hard that it felt like it would breach his chest. It was extremely fortunate that Hansen stopped Bauer from doing something. He imagined that if she did something particularly eye-catching, it would invoke the interest of Barry Path God. If he was to ever inspect Bauer and become wary of something odd with her, it could certainly be troublesome. Rocky D frowned and thought, Damn it. Why did I have to come to the 33 skies? This is an absolute death wish. He wanted to find a way to save Bauer. In Dust Sky, even if the whole cast of Reboot God spirits went there, they would be reduced to commoners. This is a place where the rules of the universe cannot touch. There are only a few people who are not afraid of Dusk Sky's power. Barry Path God is one such person, and so is Master Bauer. Hansen and Chin Wana's powers are strong, but they have still been restricted by Dusk Sky's power. Rocky D kept thinking. No matter what he thought, it did not seem as if he could save Bauer. If this was in another place, perhaps he would have the chance. In Dust Sky, his power had been restricted. Perhaps there were no powers he could use, but how else would he be able to save her? Wanner's power was becoming weaker. Barry Path God unleashed a rainbow to bind her. No matter how much she struggled or fought, she could do nothing to break the binding rainbow light. Ever so strangely and profoundly confusing, the gold light that was on her body, despite appearing like it really was just there, wasn't actually there at all. It was obvious to see that her power had been sapped away. It was incredibly difficult for her to continue fighting in any shape and form. Barry Path God's eyes moved. He looked at Wanner, who was tied up, and said, Back in the day, your big brother, Qin Xiu, made a big wish. If we helped him break through the walls of the universe so he could go to the other world and find your reborn body, he would follow through with our deal to break through the 33 skies. We eventually lost contact with him, and he never did return. He never adhered to the terms of the deal. If you are his sister, then it must be down to you to do as he promised. Help us break through the 33 skies. Wanner did not understand what he was blabbing on about, but her confused eyes seemed to be reduced because of her reverse super god spirit mode. Wanner stared at Barry Path Sky and asked, Who are you people? What are you talking about? It does not matter who I am, Barry Path God overbearingly said. What matters is that from now on, you are my slave. I can make you do anything, and you have to do as I tell you. I do not know you, so why would I be your slave? Wana asked, my name is Barry Path God. I will one day be the master of the universe. All the creatures in this universe will be my slaves. You can be my slave now. You should be honored by the offer. Barry Path God did not look as if he was joking around. He sounded as if all of this was normal. Wana shook her head. I am not going to be your slave. My big brother told me we are free humans. It does not matter if we are challenged by gods or demons but no one can command our souls or enslave our bodies. Barry Path God laughed and said, Chin Xiu really was a crazy man, but I am afraid he cannot protect himself anymore. Otherwise, how could you run out alone like this? You are the person he threw his life away for though. When Wana heard that, her face changed. Big brother. What happened to big brother? Wana tried to remember, but she clutched her head and screamed. It was like something inside her had exploded. Barry Path God was able to tell what was happening. He coldly laughed and said, Chin Xiu, that kid, was never too bad. He entered the other world to take back your soul. After combining with your body, it made the soul in your body and memory come back. What a shame. He did one thing wrong. If a soul gets reborn, it means another complete life form is forced into another body with a spirit. That means there are two souls in one body. 
In a situation like that, it is impossible for there not to be conflict. Seeing Wana holding her head and feeling pain, Barry Path God walked next to her. He reached out his hand and pointed his fingers at Wana's forehead. Do not worry. You will not feel this pain soon. That is because your soul will be killed. I only need this body. This body's unique power is very good for us to break through the 33 skies. I must really thank Chin Shio. If he had not created a monster body like you, I would not know which year or which month I would be able to break through the 33 skies. Barry Path Sky's finger touched Wanner on the forehead. His fingers went inside it. Some blood came out from the wound. Let me go. Otherwise, my brother will never forgive you. Wana felt pain from the wound. She seemed to be more awake. She gnashed her teeth to try and endure the pain she struggled with. I, Barry Path God, do things without ever requiring the forgiveness of a mere human. Let's not say something like Chin Shio has probably already reincarnated. But even if he is still alive as his old self, before me, he is nothing but a minuscule ant that I can kill randomly. Barry Path God looked at her with disdain as he spoke. While they were talking, Barry Path God's fingers went lower. It made Wanner's wound bigger. It was like a bloody third I was now in the center of her forehead. Is that it? A man with a really deep voice emerged from the dust. Hansen had not been on the planet long, but he now saw a black shadow slowly approaching. It was the black crystal armor. It was unknown who was wearing it, but it was releasing some weird and black light. The entire universe went dim beneath it. All the while, that figure walked forward. It was like the guy had come from hell. Big brother. Wana looked at the black crystal armor coming closer. She looked very surprised. When Barry Path got heard her words, his face changed. He looked at the black crystal armor and said, Chin Shio, you are still alive. Chapter 3222 Only the Stronger Earn Respect Hansen had stopped Bauer from attacking, but Barry Path God's power had hit him hard. Although he used power to resist the impact of his fall, he still felt as if his bones were hurting something fierce. Dust Sky's substance chains are so weird, Hansen said with a look of seriousness. Even Super Spank Power is unable to break them. They would only end up absorbed too. There is likely only one option to break one of these substance chains. Dust Sky's Tai Chi substance was like a main and reverse. It was like two powers combined. The power of the Dongxin Sutra's power only came from the Geno universe. It did not really work on the Tai Chi substance. To break Dust Sky's substance chains, he needed the main and reverse powers combined to do so. Blood Pulse Sutra and Xian Yellow Sutra combined together to create a break world power. That was not great for breaking rules, and they only focused on a living creature's power. It would not work on Dust Sky's rule powers. If Hansen wanted to break Dust Sky's substance chains, he had to figure out how to reverse the Dong Shin Sutra. That way, he could get a break world power composed of its main and reverse powers. Hansen had yet to make a reverse version of the Dong Xian Sutra. He did not have a gene race that could practice the reverse version. Therefore, he had to risk his own body to force the reversal of the Dong Xian Sutra. Fortunately, the Dong Xian Sutra still had Geno armaments. Hansen planned on using the Geno armaments to cast the main Dong Xian Sutra. The success rate of reversing the Dong Xian Sutra was low if he used his own body for it. It was also dangerous. At this rate, no matter how small the chances of success were, he had no other choice but to try. He did not have time to think about how to reverse the Dong Shin Sutra correctly. He roughly used it in reverse. He suddenly felt as if his body was given a jolting shock. It felt as if his entire form was being ripped to shreds. Hansen was risking his life to cast the reverse version of Dong Shin Sutra. That was happening while Barry Path God tried to tear Wanner's soul out through her skull. While Wanner was enduring her pain, Hansen felt his sea of soul rattle with a raging message. The raging message was strong, but it was different to the feelings given from the black crystal armor. The black crystal armor never really did much, and it never really reacted to things. There were some odd instances it did. Whenever that happened, it was usually mild. Hansen had never felt it rage like this before. Hansen had used the black crystal armor to evolve the Shin Holy Turtle. Now, the black crystal armor's power had suddenly reversed. It no longer provided energy to the Shin Holy Turtle for the purposes of evolving it. Instead, it madly absorbed the Shin Holy Turtle's energy. Suddenly, the Shin Holy Turtle was sucked dry by the black crystal armor. It turned into dust and vanished. 
The black crystal armor revealed itself, eliciting the feelings of a demon god. This kind of feeling was different to the black crystal armor Han Sin was familiar with. This feeling was strange and gave him a sense of familiarity. This familiar feeling is World King God. Hansen quickly understood this familiar feeling and where it came from. Within that feeling, there was the sense that it was very similar to the World King God, but it wasn't the same. Does this mean the black crystal armor has Chin Shou's will? Hansen's face changed. He did not think the black crystal armor belonged to Chin Shio anyway. The black crystal armor's style was a lot more feminine. Hansen used to feel the presence when it was activated. That presence was calm and soft, so it felt like a woman's presence. It was completely different to the overbearing feeling given by Qin Xiao. Hansen could only guess that Qin Xiao's will or soul had, for some reason, entered the black crystal armor. The black crystal armor emerged from Han Sen's sea of soul. It had the presence of a demon. It turned and looked at Hansen, coldly saying, It looks like when I am sleeping, you are the one who owns it. Hansen's body ran the Dongshin Sutra in reverse. He could not spare time talking to him. The black crystal armor was clearly not interested in talking about it with Hansen either. He only said that and vanished. Is that it? Barry Path God was taking Wanner's soul away. He suddenly felt something scary coming. When he heard the voice, his face changed. Barry Path Sky stared at the black crystal armor and coldly said, Chin Xiao, you are still alive. Big brother. Wana shouted in surprise. No. Wana, it's okay now. Your big brother is here now. Chin Xiao's voice was so soft. Although it was a set of armor that did not have any emotion, it felt like it could make people feel its softness. When Chin Xiao looked at Barry Path God, his voice sounded incredibly cold as he said, Barry Path God, get your dirty hands off her. Barry Path God looked at him with disdain. He said, Chin Xiao, it looks like you have been away from the universe of kingdoms for too long. You seem to have forgotten who the owner is here. For as long as I, Chin Xiao, live, there is only one boss, Chin Xiao coldly said. You are still so ignorant, but being ignorant is very funny to see. It is good that you did not die. According to the terms of our contract, I helped you enter the other world. In return, you said you would have to break the 33 skies for me. Barry Path Sky grabbed Wana's head and said, Now, it is time for you and your sister to pay the price. I always stay true to my word, Chin Xiao said. When I said I was going to help you break through the three skies, of course, I was going to hold up my end of the bargain. It is good that you are going to do what we agreed upon. Barry Path God coldly looked at Chin Xiao. Chin Xiao looked at Barry Path God and coldly said, Of course, I will, but our deal is not yet done. You dared to hurt Wanner. What are we going to do about it? I am the best in the 33 skies. So, what if I hurt her? Barry Path God spoke with gross disdain. So, what? Chin Xiao laughed. He reached out his hand and performed a gesture in which he flipped his hand over. Suddenly, Barry Path God, who was grabbing Wanner, looked as if he had been crushed by a mountain. He was sinking and falling into space. His body fell onto a planet. The ground broke beneath his feet. Barry Path God was half kneeling on the ground. He looked absolutely terrible. He made a sky-shocking, angry roar. A shocking rainbow exploded like a volcanic eruption. It was like the whole world was going to go down with him. No matter how frightening his body was, he could not lift up the weight that made him kneel. He gnashed his teeth and made loud noises, but he could not raise his head at all. The God Chaos Party headquarters were absolutely silent. They knew how powerful Barry Path God was. He was someone scary who had survived a rebooting of a universe. Now, Qin Xiao had only flipped his hand to suppress their leader. He was unable to lift his legs. How scary was that? Is he really Qin Xiao? He did not used to be that scary. An elder who had also survived the rebooting looked shocked. No one answered him. The God Chaos Party was dead silent. Big brother. Wana leaped into Chin Shou's arms. Her body was so weak that she was almost unable to float through space. Chin Shou held on to Wana and stroked her hair. Wana, I am here. You do not have to be afraid. No one will be able to hurt you anymore. You should go to sleep. When you wake up, everything will be fine. After that, Chin Shou's hands brushed by Wana's eyes to close them. She looked relaxed as she went to sleep without any more worries. Chin Xiao was holding Wanner, who was now fast asleep. He looked at Barry Path God and coldly said, 
The God Chaos Party has elites as leaders. From now on, I, Chin Xiu, will be the leader of the God Chaos Party. Very Path God, do you obey your new master? You do not have what it takes. Very Path God's body looked as if his sleeping willpower had awoken. A scary power exploded. Chapter 3223 An Accident Very Path God's power was incredibly strong. The whole of dust God shook under the duress of his power. It felt like that power could bury the entire sky, ground, and space around no matter how strong his power was. He could not keep his knees away from the ground. Qin Xiu held Wanner and went down to bury Path God. Every step he took made the suppression power applied to bury Path God seem even heavier. Padong. Bury Path God's second leg could not withstand the pressure. He was forced into a kneeling position. The crack below his legs spread. Bury Path God was so angry, but no matter how much he madly roared, he could not stand up. Under the pressure, his hands eventually dropped to the ground as well. His entire body was suppressed, so he could do nothing to straighten himself out. Bury Path God still supported his head. He was not going to let that bend. The God Chaos Party headquarters was full of scary creatures who were now exhibiting shock. Ever since the universe had rebooted, they had never seen anyone be able to do this to Barry Path God. Even before the universe rebooted, there were only two people that could do that to Barry Path God. One was the previous God Hall leader, the leader who ruled the universe. The other was the prior leader of the God Chaos Party. He was the one who was very accomplished. Aside from these two, no one could suppress Barry Path God like that. In this era, no one was able to suppress Barry Path God like that. Yet, this supposedly impossible scene was appearing in the vision of all those scary creatures. They were all shocked and afraid. A scary creature who had also survived the reboot asked in shock, How did Qin Xiu become so strong? He's as strong as the old leader now. Of the creatures that lived in that era, they all now thought the same thing. They felt as if they were witnessing the old leader's powers. Qin Xiu walked up to Barry Path God. He stood there, but it did not look as if he was going to do anything. Still, Barry Path God could only see as far as Qin Xiu's feet. He could not lift his head to look upon him. No matter how angry he was or how much he felt he had been wronged, in front of that power of absolute suppression, he could only lower his head so far that it almost touched the ground. Ah! Barry Path God roared with sadness. He wanted to kill himself. He would have rather died than kneel before Qin Xiao. There was some invisible power on his body that was suppressing him. It made him unable to destroy himself. His head touched the ground. It humiliated the scary creatures of the God Chaos Party. Even when the old leader was there, no one had humiliated. Barry Path God like that before. After all, he was God Chaos Party's temporary leader. He had never been humiliated like this before. Do you obey me or not? Qin Xiao looked at Barry Path God from a high place. He looked at him as if he was looking at a small ant. Qin Xiao, you do not have what it takes to talk to me like this. Kill me if you have the guts to. Barry Path God's body was on the ground. He was not scared. Qin Xiao lifted his lips to display a smile. He looked at Wanner, who was now fast asleep, and said, Dying does not come so easily. If you offend me, I will kill you. You wanted to take Wanner's body for yourself. How can I let you die easily? Obey me or kneel here forever as an apology to Wanner. I leave the decision to you. The creatures of the God Chaos Party were shocked. Qin Xiu wanted Barry Path God to be buried there forever so that he could never do anything. What kind of humiliation was that? To Barry Path God, that was worse than reincarnation. Barry Path God's teeth started to chatter. He was very angry. He wanted to kill Qin Xiu, but he could not even die. There was no way he could kill Qin Xiao. It looks like you have chosen to kneel here forever, Qin Xiao coldly said. He picked up Wanner and turned around to leave. Barry Path God is greeting Mr. Leader. Barry Path God suddenly roared. His voice was filled with an endless amount of anger and sadness. Very good. I love the emotion you put into that. It is like music to my ears. Say it a few more times for me. Qin Xiao looked back at Barry Path God. He then turned around to leave again. The pressure on Barry Path God did not go away. He was still kneeling on the ground, screaming in a way that sounded loud enough to tear up his lungs. He shouted, Barry Path God is greeting Mr. Leader. Barry Path God is greeting Mr. Leader. Qin Xiao ignored Barry Path God. A few steps later, he went to Hansen, 
whose body was still running the main and the reverse versions of the Dongxian Sutra. He was unable to combine them. Is that as far as you can go after having the super gene for so long and receiving your help? Qin Xiu looked at Han Sen coldly as he spoke. If you did not use the super gene power, I could not have beaten her will. To completely control the super gene, you must work hard too. Why don't you just come with me? In the future, you will have a seat on the throne of this universe. Sorry, but I am not interested in following monsters. Hansen held on to the pain of the two powers that thrashed around inside him. He tried to speak calmly. Qin Shou looked at Hansen with interest. Your body has my genes, as well as that of World King God, but it is so weak. If I have guessed things correctly, you are the product of that accident. What product? And what accident? Hansen coldly asked. Qin Shou replied, after coming to the Geno universe, I and World King God were restricted by the rules of the Geno universe. We had to separate to reduce the suppression of the Geno universe's rules. We tried many other different ways to reduce the suppression while also finding a way to break into the Geno Hall to revive Warner. Ergo, we conducted many tests. One of the tests was for me to give my body to World King God. That way, I could take on a pure God spirit mode so I could find a new body in which I could use for my tenure in the Geno universe. World King God had my body and made a Balza test. He wanted to use his genes in the Geno universe and gene technology to make a body that the universe was able to accept. It was a shame that his test did not pan out right. Sacred was attacked by the God spirits. World King God did not combine with my body completely, and my spirit had only just entered the super gene. It restricted his will, so it was hard to join the fight. It resulted in Sacred being broken and all the tests failing. Qin Shou paused and went on to say, It looks like most of the genes in your body come from the crystallizes. I am willing to guess the crystallizes assistant, in the tests, stole some of World King God's genes for a test. He then used it on his own genes. That is why you, the accidental life, came to be. Hansen heard Qin Shou's words. He now understood where humans from the sanctuaries came from. It was all an accident. He was not the creation of Qin Shou or World King God. So, is the alpha of the humans in the sanctuaries a crystallizer? Hansen asked. You could put it that way, but you have the genes of me and world king god inside you too. You are still, in some way, my heir and inheritor. Following your alpha is not something embarrassing. Qin Shou looked at Hansen and went on to say, Plus, your situation is a bad one. If I do not save you, I am afraid your body is not going to be able to hold the abuse of the main and reverse powers. Chapter 3224 Taking a Risk Hansen had already been tempted to do that. After hearing Qin Shou's last words, it made him completely give up his fleeting thoughts of actually conceding. This was what Hansen's personality was like. If things went his way, he was a pleasant person to talk to. Qin Shou's last words were very threatening, so it made him stop wanting to concede. Sorry, I already told you I don't follow monsters, Hansen said. By the way, that includes you. That's fine. You will follow me sooner or later. First, you must live for that day. After Qin Shou said that, he turned around and left. Bury path God, come and guide me around the God Chaos Party. Show me what it's like these days. Qin Shou's voice went into Bury path God's ears. Bury path God had his freedom again. Yes. Bury path God's emotions had calmed down completely by now. It was unknown what was going through his mind. He stood up without emotion followed Qin Xiao, and departed. The black crystal armor left me after all. Han Sen's face looked weird as he spoke. The crystal armor had been with him since it was a crystal, and it had helped him out of many jams. Without the black crystal armor, it was like Han Sen would not have come as far as he had. Unfortunately, anything in life could leave, so Han Sen did not think too much about it. Even still, Han Sen did not plan on leaving the black crystal armor just like that. That black crystal armor never belonged to me, but it never belonged to you either, Qin Xiao. You are powerful now, so you can take it away. One day, I am going to take it back. Hansen was calm. He stopped thinking about the black crystal armor and all the matters pertaining to Qin Xiao. His body was just like how Qin Xiao said it was. It was not in a good state. He brutally reversed the Dong Shen Sutra. That alone dealt a lot of damage to Han Senator. The so-called reversal was not just about running it in reverse. It was like the Blood Pulse Sutra and the Xian Yellow Sutra. The two of them had differences. 
They both had their bases, so it was not just a simple case of reversing the opposite to go. Hansen had brutally reversed it by mistake. It was because he had been forced to. That was why Hansen did it. The reverse Dongxian Sutra had already damaged him a lot. Now, the power of the Dongxian Sutra was combined with it. It did not combine, and it had a conflict. It made Hansen's body endure significant damage. The two of the powers were no longer in Hansen's control. It was like there was a raging flood that had come about in the breaking of a dam. It was everywhere in his body. The worst thing about it was that he had been suppressed by dust sky. That meant Hansen's power had decreased, but the power he had lost had not been decreased. Hansen could not control this situation. That was why Qin Xiu had told him that if he had not saved Hansen, he would have died. There was one thing Hansen knew for sure. There was another type of willpower inside the black crystal armor. It was the her Qin Xiu had referenced. In the past, it was her will to control the black crystal armor. Qin Xiu should not have been able to know what was going on at that time. Otherwise, Qin Xiu would have known that Hansen had taken care of Wanner for quite some time. With his connection to Wanner, he would not allow Hansen to die. Hansen knew if he said things like that, there was an 80% to 90% chance that Qin Xiu would have saved his life. It was a shame that Hansen was not that type of person. He knew what things were like, but he would never ask for help. Hansen held on to the pain his body was suffering, trying to put the two powers back on the right track. His power was too weak. All of the power in his body was going to the lowest point. He could not deal with the two powers that had lost their control. Controlling two powers seems impossible. If I use my leftover powers to make a bet, maybe I can separate these two powers. As long as they do not collide with each other, perhaps there is something I can do to soothe things. Hansen was not someone who gave up easily. He was trying to find a way to fix these difficulties he was having. Hansen quickly realized that way did not work. Two powers were all over his body. Even if Hansen used his leftover power to attack, he could not separate those two powers. If there is no going back, I will have no choice but to push on through to the worst possible point and start all over again. Hansen was angry. He used the last of his power to do a final push. The two powers were running. Hansen did not know what would happen, but he knew that those two powers were not going to stop. The Dongxian Sutra's power was scarier than Hansen had imagined. The primary Dongxian Sutra power was familiar to him with its most basic rules, and the reverse Dongxian Sutra created a completely different power. Because he could not control it, Hansen still did not know what kind of power it had. Looking at it based on the damage done to his body, it was evidently far scarier than the ordinary Dongxian Sutra. Bauer looked at Hansen with immense worry. She sensed that Han Sen's situation was not a favorable one. She did not dare disturb him. She did not want to distract him from the issues he wrestled with. Han Sen used the last ounce of his power to collect himself. The powers of the Blood Pulse Sutra, Shen Yellow Sutra, Jade Skin, and the story of genes were used. Although they were badly weakened, this had already come to pass. He used as much as he could, fighting it in a life or death moment. Suddenly, a weird mark appeared on Han Sen's body. It was Spell. She wanted to combine with him. It combined with him through the armor mode. Han Sen's face, which looked very sharp, appeared softer after combining with Spell. His hair and eyes turned white. His pupils and skin were put under some kind of spell. He did not know if he was mistaken, but Han Sen felt as if Dust Sky's power was now having less of an effect on him. Xenogeneic Mode Han Sen gnashed his teeth and entered Xenogeneic Mode. This was a mode in which four Geno Arts could combine into one. Aside from his Super God Spirit mode, that was Han Sen's strongest form. Because the Xian Yellow Sutra had appeared, he had already made his four Geno Arts unbalanced. Now, because of the Dong Xian Sutra's loss of balance, the two main and reverse powers collided together. He did not know what that meant for him in Xenogeneic mode. At this point, Han Sen could not worry too much about it. He had to use every power he had to give it a shot. When Hansen's body totally entered xenogeneic mode, he felt his body's power explode. It was like the pulses of his body were all exploding. It was like his body had a fireworks party going on inside him. Even with Hansen's tough will, he could not help but shout. He had to express how much pain he was in. Perhaps it was because Hansen's threshold of endurance had reached the max it could go, but his body reacted. He entered Super God Spirit mode but the pain did not go away because of it. 
It made him hurt even more. Hansen was under super god spirit mode now. He had a body of white light. He suddenly heard a crack. He had never experienced something like this in super god spirit mode before. Chapter 3225 Three Year Promise The super god spirit mode was invincible. It had never broken like this before. Although Hansen was shocked, he had no choice but to keep on going. It felt like his body was being ripped apart. It was hard to accept. It would have made ordinary people feel as if they wanted to commit suicide. Hansen's willpower was too strong. Even if his body was thrown into a vat of burning oil, he would not have wanted to die. His will to survive was very strong. No matter how strong his will was, the pain was still excruciating to endure. Hansen's face was a twisted expression of that pain he was enduring through. The pain he felt came from the main and reverse Dong Shen Sutra. He was able to control the other powers inside him. It was only this raging main and reverse Dong Shen Sutra power Hansen was unable to control. His other powers were affected by the restrictions imposed by the realm of Dusk Sky and were weak. Even his super god spirit mode had been weakened a lot. When combined, the power of the main and reverse Dong Shen Sutra did not seem to be restrained by the Dusk Sky's powers of restraint. It almost seemed as if they were becoming stronger. It is just as I thought. The main and reverse. Dong Shen Sutra can indeed restrain the powers of Dusk Sky. But this power is a little much. Even I am unable to fend it off. Even the super god spirit mode, which is xenogenic, is being broken by it. Hansen knew the only thing he could do was hold on and stay strong. The two reverse powers started to combine. If his body could completely combine two powers, it meant he would be able to live. If he was unable to hold it at bay, his body would be destroyed by the main and reverse versions of the Dong Shen Sutra power. If this was an ordinary time, Hansen would have managed to stay alive. Because of the Dusk Sky weakening his other powers, he was not sure if he could hold on until it was over. Many cracks were forming on his burning white body. They made him look like a beautiful porcelain vase that had been shattered but taped back together. The cracks were very shocking. The main and reverse versions of Dong Shan Sutra were coming to a very critical moment. They were quickly melting and becoming stronger. In a situation like this, the damage to one's body was only going to become worse. Hansen felt as if his body was no longer going to be able to endure things. The power the main and reverse Dong Shin Sutra created was far scarier than he believed it to be. Hansen gnashed his teeth to hold strong against it, but his body was like a porcelain statue that could break at any given second. He did not know when it was going to crack. Bauer saw the crisis Hansen was in. She took out the little gold gourd and placed it atop Hansen's head. The gourd's gold light descended like a river of gold spring water to cleanse him. It moisturized his skin and made his bones organs, and flesh better. His body, which was going to explode, was improved by that power. Needless to say, Hansen felt much better. His cells felt as if they had been glued back to a much better state and were all much tougher. Bauer. Hansen was shocked and happy at the same time. In the God Chaos Party headquarters, Qin Shio sat atop Barry Path God's throne. Barry Path God had his hands lowered. He emotionlessly looked like a statue. Another God Chaos Party member looked at Qin Shou strangely. While the God Chaos Party only obeyed elites, it did not mean any old creature could claim and sit upon the prior leader's throne. Any creature there was an elite in some capacity. They all had personalities. If it was about being more powerful than the other to get opponents to obey, it wasn't so easy. But Qin Shou's power was so strong that it made them a little bit scared. Although they did not like it, no one dared say anything to object. Qin Shio had flipped his hands and suppressed Barry Path God. He had very simply forced Barry Path God to obey. Although they did not agree with this turn of events, they had no choice but to suck it up. Qin Shio looked down at the scary creatures and coldly said, When I left the 33 skies, 11 skies were broken. It has been a billion years, and you guys have only made it to the 19th sky. At this rate, which year or month will we finally be able to breach the 33rd sky? The 33 skies are not so easily broken, a grumpy god chaos party elder said. Every sky has a special function, and we will have different difficulties in each place. Every sky we break costs a lot of resources and power. You have no idea how much we have given up. Many scary creatures looked at Qin Shio, wanting to see what he would do to that elder. 
If he used force to join God Chaos Party, he would not let a person who had objected in such a way off the hook so easily. Three years. Surprisingly, Qin Xiu was no longer angry. He calmly spat out those two words. What does that mean? The elder asked with his eyebrows raised. If I become the leader of the God Chaos Party, I will only need three years to break the 33 skies, Qin Xiu coldly said. Do you really only need three years to break the remaining 14 skies left out of the 33 skies? The elder asked with a curl of his lips. I admit you have strong power, and you are almost as great as our leader, but you surely cannot believe the 33 skies will be broken through sheer force. Force will not work, but I can do it, Qin Shou's voice said quietly. He looked very confident. If within three years I have failed to break through the 33 skies, I will return this leadership seat. Then, I, Qin Xiu, will never again set foot in any of the 33 skies. Fine, the elder said with a cold laugh. This is your decision. We did not force you to do this. Just don't break your own promise. I, Qin Xiu, never break promises I have made, Qin Xiu said. If anyone tries to trouble me within these three years, no matter who they are in this party, I will destroy their bodies and temples. He sounded vicious. We will wait three years, a few elders said after looking at each other and nodding. Where is the warehouse of the party? Qin Xiu asked after standing up. Take me there. Very path god, who still looked devoid of emotion, said, The information of this party is taken care of by Minister Five. I will ask Minister Five to take you to the warehouse. Minister Five hurried to lead Qin Xiu out of there. All the scary creatures rapidly spoke to Barry Path God. Leader, are you really going to let Qin Xiu take over God Chaos Party? With all of our power combined, we might stand a chance. Barry Path God shook his head coldly. You guys do not need to rush this. Qin Xiu is strong, but he is only one human. He must have a flaw. We will do something when we find out what that flaw is. Barry Path God walked in front of a scary creature and passed him something. He used a tone of voice only Hate Ghost could hear and said, Take this item to Dust Sky. You will have one hour of no pressure from Dust Sky. Kill Hansen and do not be discovered. Mr. Leader, what is the point of us killing Hansen now? Hate Ghost asked. Just do as you were told, Barry Path God said. He looked a bit weird. I have my reasons. Chapter 3226 Dong Shin Break World Hansen's body had just received the Gold Little Gourd's Gold Light Moisturization. It made the main and reverse Dong Shin Sutra's power increase, but it did not rip up his body. The two powers slowly melded together, making things start to become calm again. Suddenly, there was a flash. A weird person, who looked like a lizard, appeared in front of Han Senator. His red eyes were not looking at Han Senator, they were looking at Han Sin's inch gray sword. His face was full of greed. The inch gray sword was the sword that belonged to the old leader of God Chaos Party. It had a special and scary power. It was in Soldier Knife Sky because no creature was ever able to remove it. Hansen had somehow managed to pull it out. Hate Ghost really wanted the inch gray sword for himself. Very Path God said I should kill Hansen, but he did not say anything about the inch gray sword. If I take this inch gray sword and hide it, even if he asks, I will just say I never saw it. This was the brilliant idea Hate Ghost came up with. He was going to take and keep the inch gray sword for himself. Hate Ghost flashed and went in front of Hansen to examine the man. Hansen had been stuck in Dust Sky for a long time. He should have been reduced to a commoner, but Hate Ghost still looked at Hansen carefully. He was not going to underestimate him. It did not take long for Hate Ghost to confirm that Han Sin's body was no different than the average, powerless person. It made him feel a bit more relaxed. It is pointless no matter how hard you try. The powers of Dust Sky cannot be overcome by force. Even if God's spirits come here, they would be reduced to the status of a commoner. After saying that, Hate Ghost reached his hand out toward Han Sin's inch gray sword. He wanted to get the inch gray sword first. Before he could grab the inch gray sword, a small hand grabbed the inch gray sword. Hate Ghost turned around and saw a little girl next to Han Sin was holding the inch gray sword. Her big eyes were staring at him. Give me the sword, Hate Ghost said to Bauer with a cold look. Why would I give it to you? Bauer asked with the curl of her lips. This is my father's sword. I told you to give it to me, Hate Ghost said. Stop talking crap or I will break your head. He raised his talents. He was not a very patient person. Bawa clutched the sword and retreated. She blinked as she said, 
If you dare touch me, my father will blow your head off. Let me see if it is my head that blows up first, or if it is your head that breaks first. Hate Ghost's hands moved to catch Bowis's head and the inch gray sword. Before he could take it, he saw a shadow flash in front of him. A shadow wearing black armor had come before Bauer to block the attack. Hansen had just been sitting there earlier. Hate Ghost was shocked, so he fell back a little. Hansen was able to kill Weapon God, and Weapon God's power was as strong as Hate Ghost's. How could Hate Ghost not be scared of him? After Hate Ghost thought it over, this was Dust Sky. Hansen's power was already suppressed by Dust Sky. Even if he did have some power, there would not be much of it left to be effective. He would be unable to defeat him. If you would rather die first, I will be happy to fulfill your wish. Hate Ghost's eyes turned red. Black smoke arose on his body that looked like fire. He tried grabbing Hansen. Bauer, keep your gourd safe. Hansen returned the little gold gourd to Bauer. Without the nutrition of the little gold gourd replenishing his body, Hansen would have likely been unable to get through this crisis. It had been his deliverance. Now, the little gourd was looking smaller than usual. It had used a lot of power. After returning the little gold gourd to Bauer, Hate Ghost was in front of Hans Senator. The scary black smoke was so strong that it made Hate Ghost look like a demon from hell. Without speaking, Hansen gathered up the main and reverse Dong Shen Sutra power. Those two powers combined in his hands. They made Hansen's hands, which were wrapped up by the black Dong Shen armor, look even darker. It was like he was able to absorb light. People were unable to see the hands clearly. They were something of a blur to them. Dong Shin Sutra's power enabled Han Sen to see the original rules of the universe. The reverse Dong Shin Sutra was another extreme thing that enabled Han Sen to get to grips with rule simulation powers. Before this, Han Sen required his super spank skill to break substance chains, but the reverse Dong Shin Sutra did not require him to go to so much trouble. That was because he was able to simulate rules to control the rules. It made the power of rules adhere to him. There was no longer a point in spinning power to break substance chains. When the powers of the main and the reverse Dongshen Sutra were put together, it led to the creation of further changes. The two powers created break world powers. It was not only the rules that broke the universe that changed. If he had to use a word to describe the break world powers of the Dongshen Sutra, it would have been modify. He was able to modify the basic rules of the universe. That power was something not even a god could harness. In fact, gods were the creatures that maintained the most rules, but god's spirits were better at using the rules. They just did not have the power needed to change the rules. The Dongshin Sutra's break world power enabled him to change the universe's rules. This power, in some way, was stronger than destroying the universal rules. Hansen flicked his finger like he was flicking a wire on an invisible harp. Of course, no music played. Hate Ghost did not understand what the gesture meant. He did not know what the point of him flicking his finger was. Now, given his current situation, Hansen could not block his attacks. In the next second, Hate Ghost's face changed. He felt as if his body had become very weird. It was like his body was bound by some kind of power. His claws were unable to be moved forward. It was like there was an invisible wall prohibiting him from moving forward. Hate Ghost retreated. He felt as if he was fine so he tried to change his location. He jumped on Hansen's head and tried to grab his brain. Hansen stood there without moving. His fingers flicked as if he was still playing a harp. For other people seeing this, they would have assumed it was meaningless. Only Hansen understood that he was using his finger to flick Dust Sky's Tai Chi substance. He was changing the rules. The Tai Chi substance combined to create a universal cogwheel. The cogwheel combined and made a substance chain. Now, Hansen was messing up the Tai Chi substance order. The size of the universal cogwheel changed. Therefore, the substance chain changed too. Hansen had modified Dust Sky's rules. This modification would not break Dust Sky's rules or change the order of things. It did make Dust Sky's rules undergo big changes. Arg! Hate Ghost suddenly screamed. He sounded as if his entire body had been sucked of its water and hastily dried up. A few seconds later, he was nothing more than a skeletal, dried-up corpse. No. Impossible. I have the Avoid Dust Orb. Dust Sky Power should not work on me. Even if it did work, it would not do this to me. Scary. Hate Ghost did not finish speaking before he turned into dust. His life force and power were taken by the Tai Chi substance, turning him to dust. 
Chapter 3227 Back to Space Garden Hunted Annihilation got Spirit Gene Race Hate Ghost. It was just a simple announcement that played in which nothing got left behind. Even Hate Ghost's dust was absorbed by the Tai Chi substance. The kill was so clean that not a single speck of him remained. An orb fell down. It was the size of a Dragon Ball. It did not have any dust on it. It looked like a pearl. The Dongshin Sutra's break world power is so scary. Hansen reached his hands out to grab the orb. His face displayed a mixture of expressions. He had to admit he was shocked. He had only changed the rules around Hate Ghost to let the universal cogwheel spin at a much faster pace. That was what produced that terrifying effect. It just killed an Annihilation God Spirit Gene race. It was very scary. Fortunately, Hansen's break world power had just been formed. Its effectiveness was not particularly long. It could only go on for two seconds. The Tai Chi substance that had been modified went back to what it was before. It was already quite impressive. Hansen had only made a few simple changes to alter the size of the cogwheels. He had not manipulated the running speed of the entire sequence of substance chains, yet he had managed to do something that terrifying. That was just a simple change. If he did a complicated change, he had no clue what might happen. Hansen was now entering uncharted waters with the Dong Xian Sutra. There was nothing more to learn with it. He was now on his own for every step he took. Regarding what the effect of changing the universal cogwheels could mean, Hansen would have to find out all of that by himself. Hansen thought, how does one reach the end of the break world path? Which path did Qin Xiao traverse? The black crystal armor's power is very mysterious. Even the story of genes was created through the help of the black crystal armor. If Qin Xiao is able to control the black crystal armor, there is no way for me to accurately gauge his strength. Dad, this orb looks pretty. Can I have it? Bauer looked at Han Sound, who was holding the Avoid Dust Orb in his hand. Hansen held the Avoid Dust Orb. He felt Dust Sky's Tai Chi substance avoided. He now knew what that orb did. His Dongshin Sutra's Break World attempt had succeeded. Dust Sky's rules had no bearing on him now. Therefore, holding on to the orb was pointless for him to do. Of course, you can. If you want it, and as long as it does not bring harm to anyone, I will give it to you. Hansen gave the Avoid Dust Orb to Bauer and patted her on the head. Without the help of Bauer's little gourd, there was a 90% he would have faced a disastrous event. Bauer collected the Avoid Dust Orb and merrily placed it inside the little gourd. She put it next to her ear and gave it a shake. She then put the gourd away. This is not a place we should stay in for much longer. We should think about leaving. Hansen picked up Bauer and teleported away. He knew he was not Qin Shou's enemy, but it was pointless to stay. Besides, Hansen wanted to go back to the Geno universe. He had to tell the people in Space Garden that they needed to be prepared. Qin Shou had the God Chaos Party on his side. The 33 skies were going to be broken soon. The two universes would not be separated forever. Let me go see God Hall leader first. I should inform him that Qin Shou has been reborn. Hansen left the 33 skies. He wore the Sky God crown and entered the God of Wealth Temple. He used the God of Wealth Temple to enter the Geno Hall. I see. It is no wonder I was unable to find Qin Xiao's spirit. I did not expect him to do something like this, though. God Hall leader fell into a deep phase of contemplation when he heard the sequence of events from Hansen. What is that black crystal armor? Hansen had always been very curious about that. The power of the black crystal armor was amazing. It made all kinds of creatures evolve. That power alone was enough to shock the whole universe. On top of that, the black crystal armor must have had another power Hansen was not yet aware of. Although Hansen had owned the black crystal armor for a long time, he had not really controlled or paid much attention to it. In fact, he did not really know much about it at all. If I have guessed things correctly, it is the gene origin, God Hall leader said. What is a gene origin? Hansen had heard about this before, but he never really understood what it meant. God Hall leader sighed and said, It is something that is very hard to explain. You can treat it as the beginning of a gene. Do these things really exist? Hansen did not dare believe it. Every creature was born in a different environment. The structure of everything's genes was different. If all the creatures had the same origin, which was what was being suggested, Hansen found it impossible to believe. God Hall leader laughed and said, Let's not mention the fact that you don't believe it. But there was a time when I didn't believe it either. 
I heard what you said, so it really does sound like the legendary gene origin. If it is not the beginning of all things, then how could it make those creatures evolve? What you are saying makes sense, but it is still hard to believe something like that. Hansen did not dare believe it. Now is not the time to say something like that, God Hall leader said. If I have guessed things correctly, Qin Xiao has not yet come to fully control the gene origin. We have got to kill him before he takes full control of the gene origin or find a way to get the gene origin back. That is something you'll need to consider. I am just a small human, so I do not have what it takes to mop up these messes. After Hansen said that, he turned around to leave. He had a grudge against Qin Xiao, but he did not want to be a toy soldier for the god spirits. God Hall leader did not plan on stopping Han Senator he watched him leave. He then said to himself, Although I am God, I cannot predict the universe, and I cannot see the future. Qin Xiao has calculated so much, but he will never figure out there was an accident. The future depends on that accident. If the accident wants to turn the tide, the tide will turn. Hansen returned to the God of Wealth Temple. He used the Sky God Crown to get another ability. All God Spirits had that ability, but they had a time limit. The Sky God Crown was spinning. Hansen's entire body was wrapped up by God Light as he traveled through space. When Hansen's vision returned, the things around him already had changes that flipped the sky and the earth. This is... Extreme King. I am back. Hansen's body felt very light. He was no longer restricted by the universe he was in. He looked around and felt genuinely good. Although using the Sky God Crown to enter the Geno universe had a short time limit, it did not much matter. He was back, and that was what mattered the most. Hansen could not wait to use Galaxy Teleportation to enter Space Garden first. Galaxy Teleportation was able to stop other people, but not Hans Senator he teleported into Space Garden, but it was almost an unrecognizable place. He could not believe how it looked. Space Garden was far scarier than it was before. God-class plant xenogeneics and scary plants were everywhere. I have only been gone two years, Hansen said with shock. Why have there been so many big changes? Chapter 3228 You Are Back Many god plants were in Space Garden. One could not imagine it. Hansen did not know if this was the result of Space Garden itself, or if it had to do something with the entire Geno universe exhibiting such changes. Hansen remembered God Hall leader told him that because his fight against World King God was too destructive, the universe of kingdoms and Geno universe were affected. The universe of kingdoms had an abundance of pulses and gene eggs appear. The Geno universe had changed too, but God Hall leader did not elaborate. If this was it, Hansen never expected the changes to be so grand. Who are you? Why have you come to Space Garden? A young man raised his sword at Hansen. Hansen looked at the young man. He looked familiar, but he could not recall where he had last seen him. Space Garden is a place I come and go to as I please. Who are you? And who are you stop me? Hansen looked at the young man with interest as he spoke. The young man was not human. He was like a young man who belonged to the sky. The sky should have been in Sky Palace though. Hansen had no clue what he was doing in a place like Space Garden. I am a student of Space Gardens you will. Chuang, the young man coldly said. I am patrolling Space Garden. You better not try and fight back. Follow me back and explain how you have come to be here. Sure, Hansen said with a nod. Yu Wu Shuang had not expected Hansen to comply nicely. He was shocked, but he quickly reacted. He used a sword to point at Hansen and said, Come on, let's go. Hansen was led by Yu Wu Shuang to Space Garden's base. As he walked, he made sure to ask questions. You are one of the sky. Why don't you stay in Sky Palace to practice? What are you doing in Space Garden? Yu Wu Shuang raised his head and looked proud. Space Garden is the Geno Universe's first sacred place. Mr. Dollar used to practice here. Many people in the universe wish to study in this place. They want to feel Mr. Dollar's glory, but they cannot. Sky Palace is good friends with Space Garden, so only a few people can come here to study. I beat out many other competitors to come and study here. I see. Hansen noticed that Space Garden was no longer like it used to be. Hansen thought it was right. Even though he had not been there, Little Flower was still around. He then thought about Xie Qing King, Gu Qicheng, and the others. In his absence, the people from the sanctuaries had undoubtedly developed quite a bit. It would have been pretty silly if Space Garden had not become famous. Aside from Sky Palace, 
Are there students from any other races coming to this place? Hansen asked. This was not a secret. It was something everyone in the universe would have known. Thus, Yu Wu Shuang was able to easily answer. Of course, everyone knows Dollar's name in the universe. Although Mr. Dollar is gone, Mr. Fei and the other elites are still around. We're not talking about ordinary races here. Even if the super-rich races want to send their kids to Space Garden for practice, they must adhere to the extremely hard conditions set in place by Space Garden. No race is able to come in whenever they wish to. Aside from the sky, Rebate and a few other races can come. For all other races, coming to study here is an exceptional privilege and task. Hansen was surprised. He soon realized who the Mr. Fei he was talking about was. It was obviously his son, Han Fei. He had been calling him Little Flower for so long that he had forgotten his original name. When he heard Little Flower's name, he still didn't react. Yu Wu Shuang looked cocky as he said, I am Mr. Fei's student. I follow Mr. Fei's guidance for practice. Where is Han Fei now? Hansen asked with a smile. Little Flower was not that old. He would not have been much bigger than Yu Wu Shuang, yet he was already taking students. It made Hansen think Yu Shuang was, in some way, his grand student. Why are you asking so many questions? Just follow me. Yu Wu Shuang looked alert as he spoke to Hansen. It looked like Yu Wu Shuang was very territorial. When it came to aspects of Space Garden, he stopped talking. In Space Garden's base, Hansen noticed it was now many times bigger. It looked like a massive city. The opulence on display was not unlike the capital of the Extreme King. He saw all kinds of creatures traveling around the place. Hansen looked around and saw many familiar faces. Many humans and creatures from the sanctuaries were there. There were even many spirits. It looks like Little Flower brought over many humans, creatures, and spirits to this place from the sanctuaries, Hansen thought. The only other person who was able to go in and out of the sanctuaries was his son, Little Flower. At the door of the base, two people were standing guard. One of them was obviously from the Extreme King, and the other was obviously from the Very High. They were similar to Wu Yu Shuang. They were young men, so he thought they were also students who had been sent there to practice. The extreme. King Young Man pointed at Han Sen as he asked, Yu Wu Shuang, who is he? While I was patrolling, I noticed this invader slip inside. Yu. Wu Shuang said, I'm going to take him to see Mr. Tang. The extreme King Young Man coldly said, Outsiders cannot be taken to the city. Make him stay here. In the meantime, I will contact Mr. Tang. Hansen quietly watched the extreme king young man bring out a communicator to contact the person he wished to contact. He then heard a familiar voice. What? Did you say an outsider tried to invade Space Garden? Watch him. I am coming over at once. I want to see who was powerful enough to breach our Space Garden. The voice was abruptly cut short. Hansen heard a ping in Tang Zhenliu's voice. Hansen looked at the extreme king young man and said, Looking at your face, you look rather familiar. Are you related to Bai Wanjia? How dare you say my father's name aloud, the extreme king young man said. He was furious. Bai Wanjia is your father, and you call him a king, Hansen said with shock. So, he was the one who took the throne for the extreme king. My father took the throne, the extreme king young man coldly said. Everyone knows that. Are you trying to troll me, or something stupid like that? Hansen shook his head. He had been away from the Geno universe for two years. It seemed as if many things had happened in his absence. Since this extreme king prince went to Space Garden to be a guard, it seemed as if the reputation of Space Garden in the universe had become very high. What is happening here? A female's voice sounded out from the city as a woman wearing green clothes walked out. The woman started to question Yu Wu Shuang, but her eyes opened wide when her vision landed on the presence of Han Senator her eyes turned red. She was unable to believe who it was. It looked as if tears were going to fall any second. You. The woman was only able to speak one word before stopping. Exquisite. Long time no see. Hansen smiled and waved at her. He was surprised too. The very high exquisite was in Space Garden. You. You are back. Exquisite's eyes had tears start to fall. She had this overwhelming feeling of wanting to leap into Hansen's arms. When she moved forward, she stopped. Her voice was a bit shaky. Chapter 3229 A Man Who Came From Hell Exquisite sighed and said, I have still been unsuccessful with very high forget love. Any exquisite? Do you know this man? The very high young man guard looked at exquisite strangely. 
Of course, I recognize him, Exquisite said as she looked at Han Sr. I did not think there was anyone who would not recognize him. After I came back, I have been witnessing many changes to this place, Hansen said with a smile. This place is almost unrecognizable now. Exquisite, tell me, why are you in Space Garden? Seeing Hansen smile, Exquisite smiled back. She replied, yes. In the past two years that you have been gone, many things have happened. The entire universe is not the same as it once was. Compared to Outer Sky, more people seek to practice in Space Garden instead. I am one such person. Exquisite was still holding on to something she did not want to outright admit. The reason she went to Space Garden was not that Space Garden was better than Outer Sky. It was because Han Sin was the one who built the place. Yu Shuang and the guards were shocked when they saw Exquisite smile. Even the very high student did not believe she had that in her. People like Exquisite, who had already taken their very high sense to the max level and had very high forget love, no longer had emotions. They were supposed to be cold all the time. No one had ever seen her behave like this before. Yu Shuang and the two guards felt very weird. They did not know who that man in front of them was. Whoever he was, he could make Exquisite display a joyful face. While they were wondering about his identity, a gold shadow flashed out of the city. A gold lion-like, Big Beast jumped in front of Hansen. Yu Shuang and the others were shocked. That gold shadow was not very big but they knew how scary of a creature it was. Empty Mountain's mountain leader, the only golden growler in the universe, used to fight side by side with Dollar. Now, he was an invincible existence in Space Garden. Even the Extreme King, Very High, and Sky Palace elites were terrified whenever they laid eyes on Golden Growler. But they were just some small people. Golden Growler usually occupied a deep, faraway mansion. He spent time with the Han family's linger, for some reason, he had just come running from outside to jump at the mysterious man. Yu Shuang and the others were shocked. Golden Growler jumped at him. Even an elite of the universe would have been half-dead through simple fear. The guards thought the man was going to be instantly killed. In the next second, their eyes opened wide. They could not believe what they were seeing. Golden Growler jumped onto the man and put one of its front paws on his shoulder. It started to lick the man in joy, swinging its tail madly. It was like a big dog trying to earn the love of its master. Who? Who is this man? Yu Wu Shuang and the other two people were absolutely confused. Golden Growler showing up had already shocked the elites. Shortly after, an old man excitedly broke space to come and kneel before Han Senior Master. You are back. Yu Wu Shuang and the two guards felt as if their lives had suddenly been thrown into turmoil and challenge. That man, who called himself 9000 King, had always been difficult. He was always very mean in Space Garden. Aside from Han Fei, Han Lingo, and a few other Han family members, he had a total lack of respect for everyone. One time when the very high leader visited, 9,000 King's nose was stuck up in the sky. He was completely uncaring for the prestigious guest. It was like he could not be bothered dealing with such a person. At one point, he was such a scary existence. Now, that man was kneeling profusely before Han Senator it was hard to imagine. Old Nine, there is no need for all this. Hansen reached out his hand and lifted 9,000 King's body. Master, you're back. More and more scary creatures appeared. Flower God Leader was very excited. Tang Zhenliu came running out with a hearty laugh. Holy SH asterisk T. Old Han, are you back this soon? We are still planning on breaking down the space barrier to come to fetch you. Mr. Dollar, you are back. Finally, someone shouted Dollar's name. Upon hearing that, Yu Wu Shuang was stunned into submission. Mr. Dollar. He is Han Sin, the man who saved the world. He is the master of Space Garden. I thought he died. Can creatures really come back from hell? The whole of Space Garden was bubbling like boiling water. The news spread all over the very high. Some of the high races quickly received the news about the man who came back from hell. Good people do not live for long, and they harm for a thousand years. That is correct. In the extreme king, Bai Qin, who had already become king, looked into space and sighed. Finally, you are back. In Blood Legion, human king looked quiet. He looked as if he was thinking about something. How could he come back so quickly? Has he already beaten the system of reincarnation? Amidst the demons, the demon Alpha frowned. She looked confused. Hearing the news that Hansen had come back from hell, Every elite had a different reaction to the headline. 
Sky Palace leader laughed three times and then quietly mumbled, The bad news is bad. Hansen heard from Tang Liu and the others that Little Flower, Xie Qing King, and the others were already out near Outer Sky's Mirror Lake. When he asked for details of what was going on there and heard what they had to say, he knew for sure something had changed there. Dad, Lingo was like a little cat when she jumped into Hansen's arms. My little Linger, you have become more and more beautiful. Hansen collected Linger and kissed her on the cheek. He suddenly felt so successful about having a daughter. Hansen, you are back. Wang Yuhang had tears gushing from his eyes when he saw Han Senator. This was still in the time Lingo had forced him to remain in Space Garden, which was something that made him feel absolutely wretched. Seeing Hansen return, he felt as if he was a farmer that had been suppressed but was now being rescued by the PLA. Little uncle, why do you look so terrible? Hansen looked at Wang Yuhang with shock. Wang Yuhang wanted to tell him what happened and how difficult things had been, but Lingo was staring at him. He forced a smile and said, I, I have not slept well recently. The little red bird flew over too. It did somersaults around Hansen as if it was searching for something. Bauer could not come back yet, Hansen said to the little red bird. The little red bird felt depressed. It landed atop Lingo's head. Hansen had no choice. The Sky King crown only allowed him and him alone to return to the Geno universe. On top of that, there was a time limit. He could not bring Bauer back with him. When they went to the garden, there were only creatures around who were very close to Hans. Senator Tang Liu asked, Hansen, how did you get back here from the other side? Is there a way you can get us to access there so we can go in and play? This time, I have come back to talk to you about that. If the others have gone to Outer Sky, though, we should go to Outer Sky first. Hansen used galaxy teleportation to teleport everyone to Outer Sky. Han Yin and the others had already learned about Han Sen's return, but they were still very excited to see the man in the flesh. Han Sen invited very high leader and Sky Palace leader over too. He told them about the God Chaos Party trying to break the 33 skies. Very high leader, Sky Palace leader, and all the other elites did not look so good after hearing about it. According to what Han Sen was telling them, the elites of the universe of kingdoms were far stronger than the elites of the Geno universe. If the 33 skies were punched through, bridging the Geno universe, a disaster would surely unfold. Chapter 3230 Fighting a Group Alone Hansen explained the situation to them once. You guys don't have to worry all that much. Even if the 33 skies are broken and the creatures of another universe invade us, they will be repelled by the rules of this universe. Instead, the 33 skies might harm the universe. Hansen's return delighted people but the news he delivered made their joy short-lived. It made them gloomy. I did not know power could be played like this. This is great. I was worried there wouldn't be any further chances to level up. After the two universes break, we can break the world, too. Why do we have to be afraid of these guys? Xie Qing King rubbed his palms, ready for a fight. By the way, Hansen, I reached the max level now. I should be just as strong as you. Why don't we fight? Let's see the difference between having break world powers and not having break world powers. Xie Qing King looked at Hansen with excitement. And me, Yi Dong Mu, who had been sitting silently, said. And me. Lin Fon and Huang Fu Jing threw their hats into the ring as well. They all focused on Hansen. This isn't about me wanting to crush you guys, but there is a big difference between being able to break the world and not being able to break the world, Hansen said with a smile. To see what the gap is, we have to see it firsthand through a fight, Xie Qing King said as he curled his lips. In that case, why don't you call come at me? Hansen asked with a squint of his eyes. Ha, huh, ha, huh, you're the one who said it. Later, don't cry and complain about us bullying you. After saying that, Xie Qing King's strong body flashed. A silver necklace whipped in front of Hansen. Yi Dong Mu pulled out his knife. One almost couldn't see the flash of his knife light. The knife was already around Han Sen's waist. Lin Fong was different. He was like a Buddha, using his palm to crush the earth like a mountain or a tsunami breaking against a feeble shoreline. Huang Fu Jing teleported above Han Sen with her beautiful long legs coming to slash Han Sen like a bat leaks. The four of them wielded different powers, but each of them was extremely scary. They reached the max level of what the universe was capable of, or perhaps even greater than that. They all had super bodies or king bodies. The power they brought was scarier than the creatures of the universe. 
We are coming in too. Han Yin and Gu Qiqing wanted to join the party. They both swung their swords at Hansen. Gu Qingqing's sword skills were very overbearing. Han Yan's sword light was like a sword spirit that carried special power as it came slicing down. Na Tu. Qin Xian's hand sword was straight, but it had a king path that was hard to describe. Many powers came slashing toward Han's senator, although their full powers were not used. One could still see how scary it all was. Even Sky Palace leader and very high leader were shocked. The people from Space Garden were truly unique beings. They were not like any other creatures of the universe. If they wanted to, the number of elites they had in Space Garden was enough to conquer the entire Geno universe. In the end, they still looked at Hans Senator. They wanted to know how strong the break world powers Hansen talked about really were. Seeing so many scary powers come for him, Hansen did not look as if he was going to move. He only flicked his finger. Suddenly, time seemed to move slower. Everyone's movements looked like they were dragged through a television slow motion scene. In fact, it was not them who were moving slower. It was Hansen using his Dong Xian Sutra's break world power to change the size of the universe's cogwheels. He made the advancement of time proceed much slower. Hansen, you underestimated us. Do you think changing the speed of time can enable you to beat us? Xie Qing King roared as his body exploded with silver light. He was like a volcano erupting. The silver flames on his body were burning wildly, making his body break the altered flow of time. Huang Fu Jing's body teleported through the bindings of the new time speed. She raged even more with her wish to strike Hansen. Yidong Mu's eyes looked cold. His hand slashed through time and space. He was not affected by the new speed. Everyone behaved as if they knew this was going to happen all along. They all used their super body's power, wanting to teach Hansen a lesson. Hansen was still smiling. Seeing Han Yan's sword light become a sword spirit that was not affected by the trappings of time made him so happy. He said, Little Yin has grown up. Although this was what he thought, his hands were not remaining idle. As he kept flicking his finger, the universe's most basic substances were changed. The sizes of the cogwheels were changed as well. Hansen stood where he was, totally unmoving. Xie Qing King, Wang Fu Jing, Lin Feng, Yi Dong Mu, Han Yin, and the others all went white alongside their powers. They were all thrown off course. Xie Qing King's fist struck Yi Dong Mu's sword to create an explosion that shocked the sky. The two of them were blasted backward. Huang Fu Jing's legs went up against Lin Feng's hands like a sky knife coming up against a mountain. The power was discharged, tearing a hole through space. Han Yan's sword spirit went against Gu Qingqing's sword air. The entire scene was a mess. Hansen remained like his usual self, standing where he was. Xie Qing King and the others, however, were at a disadvantage. It led to them looking at Hansen with shock. If they learned Hansen's power was stronger than them, they were not surprised. Just playing with their powers like that, in which he could control them like dolls, was a particular kind of scary. This was not just power. It was not on that level. Everyone started to like the concept of break world powers. Every creature that came from the sanctuaries was proud. If they knew there was a way for them to improve even further, then that is what they wanted to do. Sky Palace Leader looked at Very High Leader. They both looked worried. If the Break World elites all demonstrated powers similar to what Hansen had just shown them, they would be in a lot of trouble if the 33 skies opened. The entire Geno universe was going to be thrown into disarray. You guys are still so weak, Hansen said with a smile. If you want to fight me, you should learn how to break the world first. It is just breaking a world. It is no big deal. After I break the world, I will fight you again. Xie Qing King was fine. He shouted and laughed. Not bad. Yi Dong Mu coldly nodded. Han Sin and the others spoke about things concerning the 33 skies. Once that was done, he was able to be alone. He called over Little Flower and Lingo to go to the sanctuaries and see Ji Yanran. Before he used his powers to visit the sanctuaries, someone stopped him. Han Sr. Mr. Bai. Hansen quickly bowed. Mr. Bai was the Xi'an Min's only inheritor. He taught Han. Send some skills. Although Mr. Bai had never admitted it, Hansen had always treated him like a teacher. I want to see your break world powers. Mr. Bai was quick to explain to Hansen the reason why he had gone there. Of course, you can see. Hansen displayed his break world power. He used the Dongshin Sutra to gather up a black light atop his finger. Mr. Bai had a look. 
He nodded and said, I see. In that case, take a look at my power. Is that a break world power? After Mr. Bai said that, he cooked up a light on his own finger. The light on his fingertip was white. The color was different, but Hansen sensed that the Dongxian Sutra's break world power was still quite similar to Mr. Bai's break world power. It just wasn't exactly the same. Mr. Bai, when did you learn to break the world? Hansen looked at Mr. Bai with shock. It was definitely break world power. After I watched you fight World King God, I learned something, Mr. Bai said. After that, I combined Yin and Yang. I just did not know that was break world power. You were so strong, Hansen said to compliment him. By watching him and World King God fight, Mr. Bai learned how to break the world. Mr. Bai, who was a Xian Min inheritor, was clearly a scary person. Chapter 3231 Xian Beginner the break world powers in the Geno universe were much harder to achieve than they were in the universe of kingdoms. Mr. Bai's ability to muster break world powers there was not just a testament to his talent and prowess. The Geno universe has a break world person. If the 33 skies are broken through, it is not as if we will be unable to fight back against the invaders. Hansen was not worried about the break world elites. Qin Xiao and Wanner were the ones he feared. He viewed them as the biggest problem. Wano had not yet achieved break world powers, but her reverse super god spirit mode was scarier than any break world person could be. There was no need to even mention Qin Xiao, as he had already achieved breakthrough powers over a billion years ago. On top of all that, he controlled the black crystal armor. He easily suppressed Berry Path God, so it was unlikely anyone in the universe could beat him. Even the God Hall leader, who was a reboot god spirit, might not be able to suppress Qin Shio unless if he used his reboot power. The most important thing about all of this, and what concerned Hansen the most, was that he couldn't see Qin Shio's endgame. He didn't know what he was thinking. The God Chaos Party wanted to break through the 33 skies. They wanted to mess up the rules between the two universes to create more break world elites. By doing so, they could make the God Chaos Party stronger and end up replacing the God Spirits in their lofty Geno Hall. Qin Shio used to travel between the two universes. He did that to revive Wana. Now, Wana had been revived. Hansen did not know why he still wanted to break through the 33 skies. He did not know if Qin Shio's coming was good or bad for the Geno universe. Back in the sanctuaries, Ji Yin Ren made a dish. She put down four sets of chopsticks and waited for the others to come. In a state of shock, Hansen asked Ji Yin Ren, How did you know I was coming back? Ji Yin and lifted her good looking nose. She looked like she was smiling, but she was not smiling at Han Sr. Over the past few years, I have been learning the teachings of Xian Men. Although I am not finished, I can feel the sky mind inside it. Today, I felt something. I sensed you might be coming back, so I decided to make the food you usually like. I did not actually expect you guys to come back here. This is the first time my feelings were this accurate. Hansen looked at the food on the table. It was the food he and Little Flower loved, and Lingo's favorite dessert was there too. It looks like your path along the teachings of Xian Min has really begun, Hansen said with shock. Xian Min was easy to learn but hard to get started with. To understand what was in there, and to also be able to use it, so rare. Hansen had been teaching Xian Min to others in the Geno universe for many years. There had yet to be another person thus far to learn it, and use it as well as Mr. Bai. He did not expect Ji Yin and had such talent, and she was only a beginner with it. I only know a little bit of stuff, but that is because you guys are all the most important things in my life, Ji Yin and gleefully said. That is why the feeling was so accurate. Before, there was a 90% chance that my guesses would be incorrect. After getting this right, I do feel like I understand more. Maybe I have got my foot in the door on learning Xian Min good and proper. Hansen thought about something else. If she has really learned the teachings of Xian Min, that means she can predict everything. Knowing that his wife was able to see the future sometime down the line, he felt weird. He thought everything he one day did would be peeped on. Cough. Cough. Xian Min is very complicated, Hansen quickly said. You cannot learn it fast. I think your talent has you capable of learning many Geno arts. Why don't I teach you some Geno arts instead? You can learn that first. Then you can go to the Geno universe with me so we can see each other more. Ji Yin Ren shook her head. I am already pushing the boundaries of this. The Alliance universe is small, 
But the knowledge in the Alliance universe is the same as the Geno universe. Everywhere is the same. Wife, that is wrong. Although you can learn Xi'an Min anywhere, the Geno universe has me and Little Flower in it. If you and Lingo went there, you and I can always be together. Hansen blinked and asked Lingo, don't you think so? Lingo? Mother, you should go. If I stay here, I rarely see. Little Flower and Dad. If I go there, I won't see you anymore, Mother. Lingo shook Ji Yinran's arms as she spoke. Fine, Ji Yinran said with a nod. My wife is so smart. Later, I will teach you some Geno arts so you can go to the Geno universe sooner. Hansen was secretly very happy about it. Ji Yin and rolled her eyes at him. It looked like she was smiling, but she was not smiling at Han Sr. Do not think I have no idea what is going on in your mind. I am going to the Gino universe, but I am also going to continue learning Shin Min. Hansen felt like Ji Yin Ron's eyes were seeing through something, so he tried to explain things to her. Cough. Cough. I am not thinking of anything. Shin Min is a big path skill. Of course, you are going to have to learn it. The Xian Min Inheritor, Mr. Bai, is in the Geno universe now. I will take you there so you can continue learning from him. That way, you will learn things faster. I do not want to dash your hopes, Ji Yanren said with a smile. I am going to practice it. I will then be able to calculate things for you in the future. Like, for example, how many women are going to try hitting on you? Cough. Cough. Hansen had just taken a sip of tea and almost choked. Why would someone ever think about hitting on me? Hansen asked. You think too highly of me. The Geno universe is full of monsters of different races. There are not many humans. Everyone thinks of beauty in a different light. There won't be any cheating going on. I see, Ji Yinren said with a smile. In that case, thank you very much. Should I find you a few in the Alliance? I heard Qin Xian and Huang Fujing went to the Geno universe. Oh, right. I think Gu Qi Qing is there as well. She is the prettiest human woman in existence. Hansen looked at Ji Yinran's smile. It felt like the smile was actually a blade hidden in the moon. He immediately sat up straight and avoided looking evil. He looked at Ji Yin and with love and said, In my eyes, the whole universe pales in comparison to how attractive you are. Qin Xian, Gu Qi Qing, and all the others are like female lions. I treat them like men. Hansen was surprised to eat all that food. He was now regretting letting Ji Yan and practice Xian Min skills. As an annihilation god spirit, if there was no special reason for it, Hansen could use the sky god crown to remain in the Geno universe for four days. He then had to go back to his god temple in the universe of kingdoms. The four days there were the most relaxing Hansen had spent in years. He taught Ji Yan and Geno arts and practiced with Little Flower. He stayed with Linger and took Ji Yan and for walks in the mall. He was really relaxed. If it was not for the God Chaos Party and Qin Xiao making trouble for all existence, Hansen would have preferred to stay in that moment forever. In the universe of kingdoms, a big and icy light appeared on the Chu Kingdom's border, Sea Hide System. It froze a lot of barren systems around it. It was like a big ice field in space. The other systems were affected by the ice. It made the temperatures very weird. In the star ice fields, people saw a bright moon atop it all. It was shining in endless space. Chapter 3232 Condition When Hansen went back to the Qin Kingdom and Feng Family Castle, it was only four days later. He heard that the Chu Kingdom's border had a scary ice god pulse manifest, and so the concept tempted him quite a bit. His Dongshin Sutra and Blood Pulse Sutra were already able to break the world. The story of Jin's could manifest spell. He did not need more power, but his jade skin was lacking. It required a rare gene race to reverse the power of his body. The Chu Kingdom had a super ice god pull show up. Perhaps there was a chance of a rare ice gene race showing up. Jade skin was not completely an ice element, but one ice gene race for its body was likely enough. So, Hansen wanted to go to the ice fields. Hansen thought, after Qin Shou took control of the God Chaos Party, the God Chaos Party has not tried to do anything attention drawing. I am afraid things will end up as God Hall leader said. He has not gained complete control of the Black Crystal Armor, and that is why he is worried. In these times, nothing explicitly bad should happen. Mr. Han, the king wants you to go and visit him. Before Hansen could move, Qin Jingjin's officer arrived at the Feng family castle to deliver a decree issued by the king. Hansen thought about it, 
and decided on following the officer to go and see the king. When Wana was revived, Qin Jingjin ended up getting attacked by her. The wounds he had received were quite bad. Han Sen had not seen the king since that happened, so he was keen on learning about what happened to the man. When Han Sen next saw Qin Jingjin, he frowned. Qin Jingjin was a powerful elite. When he saw him, he was totally fine. Upon seeing him now, he looked pale. His eyes looked tired. It seemed as if he was still sick. Hansen had a closer look. He sighed and said, I did not expect Qin Jingjin's wounds to be even worse than I thought. I am afraid he will not live long. Qin Jingjin smiled. He pointed at the chair and said to Hansen, Please sit, Mr. Han. My king, why have you sought me out? Hansen asked. With the condition Qin Jingjin's body was in, he was not going to be asked there for a casual, midday chat. Qin Jingjin sighed and said, Mr., you are a miracle man. I am sure you can tell that I am going to die soon. If you trust me, I can check your body over and maybe help you out, Hansen said. While I may not be able to save your life forever, I can possibly make your life last a bit longer. In front of the Qin Kingdom's king, other people would have watched their words and spoke with great care. Hansen, however, was not that worried. Please, master, Qin Jingjin said without any doubt. On any other day, Qin Jingjin would not have let any random person touch his body. This time was different. The Qin kingdom had many elites, but no one had been able to do anything to alleviate his wounds. Even Jian Bugu said he could only live for another year at the most. Qin Jingjin was not too worried about his safety anymore. Plus, Hansen had saved by Qin inside the Alpha Temple and drew Wano away. It made Qin Jingjin trust him a bit more. That was why he was not so worried about letting him help now. Hansen reached out his finger and placed it on Qin Jingjin's forehead. He was forced to use his Dongshin Sutra's power and inject it into the ailing man's body. The structure of Qin Jingjin's body went into Hansen's brain. All of his cells were dyed with gold light. The gold light was very bright. Although it was very weak, it was hard to ignore its existence. It was Wana's power. It seemed to be very beautiful but it was a deadly thing to Qin Jingjin. When the gold light corroded him, Qin Jingjin's gene chains had become gold. Now, 10% of his gene chains were gold. If this kept going on, when it reached 30%, Qin Jingjin's body would be destroyed. He would be a dead man. Qin Jingjin had three powers. Suppressing the spread of the gold light did not seem to work very well. It was hard to stop the gold light completely in its tracks. According to the speed of the gold light, Qin Jingjin really had less than a year to live. Hansen pulled his finger back. He looked at Qin Jingjin and frowned. I know my condition, Qin Jingjin said. You can tell me what you think without beating around the bush. Be direct. Hansen nodded and said, According to the examination I have conducted on your body, if there is no other power to heal you, you only have one more year to live. Teacher Jian said that too, Qin Jingjin said with a wry smile. It looks like I really am going to die this time. Although he was a king, he could not face his mortality. Qin Jingjin really did not want to die yet. Maybe not, Hansen said after a brief hesitation. Qin Jingjin's eyes immediately grew brighter. He looked at Hansen and asked, Mr. Han, do you have a way to fix my wounds? Qin Jingjin looked for Hansen because he thought he now had hope. This was his final hope. He had consulted with many others. Even the Annihilation God's spirits that protected the Qin family were unable to do anything for the wounds Qin Jingjin had sustained. Qin Jingjin had already given up, but Jian Bugu was the one to suggest seeking out Hansen and see if he could help him out. After thinking for a moment, Hansen said, I am not sure I can completely heal you, but I do have a way to extend your life for about three to five years. In the time I can give you, perhaps a more permanent solution can be found. Qin Jingjin developed a wry smile and said, I would like to live another three to five years. You might not believe me when I tell you this, but I am not afraid of death. There is something I do not want to leave behind unfinished. Is this because of the crown prince? Hansen asked. Mr. Han, you really know me, Qin Jingjin said with a sigh. The Qin kingdom is the greatest kingdom in the universe. It is very powerful. It is stronger than the other six kingdoms but it is also different from the other six kingdoms. The Qin kingdom is a kingdom founded on law. The king is the highest. Without a king, other departments can continue to function. The country will still operate, but my son is still young. He still wants to play. 
For a boy his age to run a country, it would be terrible. I am afraid he will mess up the fate of the kingdom. Qin Jingxian said it clearly, and Hansen understood what he meant. If Qin Bai succeeded his father on the throne, someone might steal his power and operate the boy like a puppet. The Qin kingdom is in trouble. There are so many problems facing us. I would like to live a few more years so I can give my son a safe country. Qin Jingxian looked at Hansen seriously and said, Mr. Han, no matter the price I must. Pay, please let me live a few years longer. I do not want to die now. I will do what I can. It will not be hard extending your life for three to five years more, but any longer than that will be dependent on your body. Hansen paused before saying, the skills I use will have their effect on you. To use this method, there is a condition. Chapter 3233, Mirror Moon. Please tell me, Mr. Han, Qin Jingxian seriously said. I have already told you that if it does not hurt the Qin kingdom, I would do anything for this. Hansen thought for a moment and said, There are legends in the Qin kingdom that claim there is a gene race called the Dark Big Evil Dragon King. It has the coldest power and most ain. If you can give me that gene race, there is a 100% guarantee that I will be able to extend your life for at least three years. If you're lucky, you will have another five years to live. When Qin Jingxian heard about the dark big evil dragon king, his face changed. Before Qin Jingxian could speak, a cold voice sounded from the screen behind him. The dark big evil dragon king is the Qin kingdom's country-suppressing god spirit gene race. For what purpose do you want that item? While they were talking, the voice of an overbearing, white-haired old man was heard. He appeared by walking out of a screen. He had a grand life force. It was very scary. The sense of suppression he exuded was like that of a mountain. The white-haired, old man's power was shocking. His eyes were like those of a knife as he peered at Han's senator. He was far more overbearing than Qin Jingxian. Han Sen, however, did not react. He did not look at the old man with white hair. It was like he did not exist. Even a reboot god spirit and Qin Xiao, those types of elites, could not make Han Sen quiver and obey. He was just a Qin kingdom elite. Please, do not be mad, Qin Jingxian politely said to the old man with white hair. Mr. Han saved my life, and he saved my son's life. He is not someone evil. My king, you can never tell the true face of a person, the old man with white hair coldly said. There are many things you should exercise caution with. The wounds on your body are something an annihilation god spirit is unable to do anything about, and this man is just an average mister. He says he has skills that are as grand as a sky. Can he be better than the annihilation god spirits that safeguard the Qin family? He did not really care for Qin Jingxian's feelings. After that, Hansen was surprised. He looked at the old man with white hair. He did not know who he was or how he was permitted to talk to Qin Jingxian in such a way. According to theory, the Qin kingdom should have had Qin Jingxian as the highest figure of authority. Even if the power of some elites was greater than Qin Jingxian, they would still have to care for Qin Jingxian's feelings when they addressed him. Qin Jingxian quietly said, There must be valid reasons for Mr. Han requiring the dark big evil dragon king. Let's just allow Mr. Han to explain himself. It does not matter what reasons he has, but the dark big evil dragon king cannot be used by outsiders, the old man with white hair confidently said. It was like his words were a decree of the highest order. Qin Jingxian's face looked cold, but he still tried to keep his cool and not flip a lid. I would not give the dark big evil dragon king to outsiders on a whim. You think way too much. If there is nothing constructive you would like to tell me, I suggest you just go back. I still have many things I wish to tell Mr. Han. The old man with white hair stared at Han Sen and said, Whatever you say does not matter. I will not permit the dark big evil dragon king to be given to anyone. It can only be a treasure of the Qin family and no other. After that, the old man with white hair turned around and left. He did not bow to Qin Jingxian. The words he said were meant for Qin Jingxian. My king, do you mind telling me who that person was? Han Sen was upset by what that man said. The dark big evil dragon king was very famous in the Qin kingdom. It was the coldest Qin race with the most Yin. Han Sen had only heard about it, but he thought he could use it with jade skin. If he did that, he would not have to go to the Chu kingdom to get another super god pulse. The dark big evil dragon king was a rare Qin race. It was also a god spirit gene race. It was better than an annihilation god spirit. If he used it to practice cold sutra, it would surely save him a lot of bother. Qin Jingxian wanted to live, 
so he would consider handing it over no matter how grand a gene race was. It was not as important as the fact of being able to live. Now, there was that old man who had upset Hans Senator. It made Hans Sen's plan get ruined. He had failed. He is the Qin family's elder. I do not know how long he has lived, but he is the base of the Qin family. Qin Jingjin only said that. He did not say anything else. He clearly did not want to talk about the old man any further. Qin Jingjin looked at him and said, Mr. Han, you want the dark big evil dragon king. Does this really have something to do with healing me? Han Sen was not going to lie. He shook his head. It is actually not related to it. If I am forced to heal your wounds, it will cost me a lot of energy. No offense, but you are neither my friend nor my family. There is no reason for me to hurt myself to save you. If it was not for the crown prince being my friend, even if you gave me your rare gene race, I might not care about you. You are a very honest man. When Qin Jingjin heard that, he felt more relaxed. If Hansen really wanted nothing, then that would be really weird. It would have been pretty hard to understand. Mr. Han, do you really need the dark big evil Dragon King? That is our kingdom suppressing God's spirit gene race. Even I cannot use it casually. If you only need the gene race, I have a gene race that is no inferior to the dark big evil Dragon King. Qin Jingjin did not keep talking, but what he wanted to say was obvious. Hansen said, the dark big evil dragon king is not really what I require. I need a pure gene race that has the yin and the cold, or the yin and the soft power. I wonder if you have a gene race like that. Qin Jingjin looked troubled. He receded into deep thought. His eyes eventually went bright. I do not have a gene race like that, but I know where you might be able to find one. That gene race is not owned by anyone either. The gene race's power and skills are just like the dark big evil dragon king. Truth be told, it might even be better. With Mr. Han's skills, it might be possible to claim it. What kind of gene race is it? Hansen asked with curiosity. It was a strong gene race, and it was not owned by anyone. Hansen was able to claim it. That just sounded strange. Qin Jingjin was a cool man. Even in the middle of a life or death crisis, he was still able to smile and say, that gene race is called Mirror Moon. Does that mean Mirror Flower Water Moon? Hansen thought about the name. It sounded soft. It was like a water element gene race. Qin Jingjin shook his head and said, Mirror Moon isn't about the Mirror Flower Water Moon. This gene race has nothing to do with water. I cannot tell you what kind of gene race it is, but its power should be related to yin and coldness. The heart is like a mirror. It is like it reflects the moon. Without a doubt, and understanding destiny, the two words came from a great man who once belonged to the great, forgotten man. That is where the name Mirror Moon came from. Qin Jingjin's face looked weird. Which great man was that? Hansen thought. It could not be Qin Xiao. Night God no moon. When Qin Xiao said the name, he looked even weirder. Perhaps you have never heard of that name before, but she is a great person in the history of the Qin Kingdom. Chapter 3234 Half a Candle Night God no moon? Isn't that the name given to moon god by the Qin kingdom? Does she have a gene race in the Qin kingdom? Hansen was shocked by this. If there was a gene race left behind by moon god, it could be unique. Qin Jingjin said, let's not mention this person night god no moon, but just this mirror moon gene race has a very legendary story behind it. What is so amazing about this gene race? Hansen asked with curiosity. Qin Jingjin said, this gene race has a legend that Night God No Moon's friend left behind. After that person died, Night God No Moon did not keep the gene race. She kept it someplace. Whenever she missed that friend, she went to see that gene race and speak with it. Of course, there is another side to the story. It says that Night God No Moon was never able to claim that gene race, and that was the reason why she kept it there. In fact, that gene race has been in the Qin kingdom for a billion years but no one has ever been able to claim it. Fortunately, its personality is considered a rather nice one. As a matter of fact, it is even a bit lazy. If you do not incite its wrath, it will not hurt anyone. It has always been kept inside Jade Wall City. I did not know that. Hansen was very curious about this creature, so he could not help but ask, what species is this gene race? If you are interested, Mr. Han, please go and take a look. Qin Jingjin paused. He spoke to an officer and said, Take Hansen to Candle Garden. Mr. Han, I am sick. I cannot go with you. You go check it out. 
It will be a fantastic thing if you're able to claim it. If you cannot, we will think of something else. Qin Jingjin coughed at Hansen. Take care, my king. I will leave you now. Hansen did not suggest a way in which he could help Qin Jingjin yet. It was not like Hansen did not want to help him. It was just that he had no better way to do it. Wanner's power was all over Qin Jingjin. The only thing that could save his ravaging was Wanner. Not even Qin Xiao would have been able to help him. Hansen's super god spirit mode repelled Wanner's power, but Wanner's power was far stronger now. His super god spirit mode worked on Qin Jingjin, but he could not scrub it all away. Hansen forced himself to break the rules of the universe to use the super god spirit mode and delay the inevitable death of Qin Jingjin. It was because of his super god spirit mode. Other people were not even able to extend his life by one second, and breaking the universe was considered taboo. It cost super god spirit mode power to do this. Hansen only asked for a god spirit gene race in return, so it was not too costly. Hansen said Qin Jingjin might one day be all better. That was not entirely a lie. Qin Jingjin was Qin Xiao's heir. If he was able to live when Qin Xiao came back, perhaps there was a chance Wanner would be willing to save him. That was one of the possibilities Hansen had considered. If Hansen was able to reverse his super god spirit mode, he could save the dying king himself. That was another chance he could put faith in. At the end of the day, though, these two opportunities for saving the king were in the future. At this point, no one could do anything. Hansen went to Candle Garden, which had a weird presence. It kept appearing and disappearing. Sometimes it was there, and sometimes it was not there. It made Hansen be unable to look at it. Candle Garden is a place where no trespassers may go, the officer said at the gate. He did not go forward. Without the king's orders, no one is allowed to enter. I can only bring you this far. Thanks. Hansen pushed the door open and went into Candle Garden. Candle Garden was big, but the big garden did not have flowers, grass, woods, or trees. It did not have fake mountains or streams of water. The ground was composed of stone boards. There was also a small pavilion. The small pavilion was very tiny. Compared to the garden at large, it was very empty. Hansen looked at the stone desk inside the stone pavilion. The garden did not have anything in it. There was only the stone desk on the inside, which had half a white candle. Hansen felt a weird presence earlier. He determined it came from this strange half candle. Weird. If this half candle is the legendary Jin race, it should be a fire element one. Why did Qin Jingjin say it was yin and cold? Why does the half candle not seem to have anything to do with Mirror Moon? Is this half candle not Mirror Moon's gene race? Hansen frowned as he looked around. The results of the inspection were the same as before. Aside from the half burned candle, there was nothing else to espy in the garden. Besides the fact that there were no gene races there, there also weren't any ordinary plants. This is a little strange. Is the half candle really Mirror Moon? Hansen stepped toward the stone pavilion. He sensed that the candle was nothing ordinary, but the presence was very hidden. Hansen could not see it clearly. Outside the pavilion, he did not think the candle was very special. When he went to the stone pavilion, he felt cold. Everything seemed to go dark. It was like he had just entered a cold and dark cave. He could not see anything beyond the pavilion. Everything was pitch black. He could not even see his fingers. All he could see was the very dim light of the candle that was down upon the table. The light was weird. The candlelight outside the pavilion looked yellowish. It looked like any ordinary candle. As he looked upon it now, the candlelight was bluish and greenish. It was a distinctly ghost-like fire, and it released a scary and cold air. The cold air in the stone pavilion came from the candle. Hansen entered the stone pavilion. He suddenly heard the old man with white hair, whom he had encountered in the palace, coldly said, You are an outsider, yet you wish to take Mirror Moon. If you were smart, you would leave right now. If you were too slow... I am afraid you are just going to die here. After pausing, the old man with white hair said, Jingjin fears his demise. He must have become possessed. His wounds cannot be healed by an annihilation class elite. He believes an outsider human can help him. It looks like he is just a commoner after all. He is nothing like how a true king should be. If the Qin kingdom can ever hope to unite the universe, it will always boil down to the strength of an heir. After saying that, the old man with white hair looked glum as he said, Jing Jin only has one son, Qin Bai. On top of that, the kid is an asshole. The Qin kingdom's fate is something we should worry about. 
I am afraid I will have to wait for the right moment. I should wait for the real Qin King to show up. Hansen looked at the candle and thought, Qin Jingjin did not lie. This half candle is a yin and cold jean race after all. Still, it is a bit different. While it has fire, the fire is awfully cold. What kind of jean race is this? Why is it called mirror? Moon? While he was thinking, Hansen stepped toward the candle. Even if that half candle wasn't a worthy match for jade skin, having that powerful jean race was still beneficial. Chapter 3235 Mirror Moon Candle As Hansen got closer to the candle, the cold air felt very heavy. Even someone like Hansen, who had a strong body, felt the cold air penetrate him. Weird. This power does not seem to be a cold element. Otherwise, Jade Skin should have been able to resist it. Now, the cold air goes into my body, but Jade Skin does not react. It is not just a cold element. It isn't that simple. Hansen was more interested in that half burned candle. The reverse Dong Xian Sutra ran on its own because it was a power native to the universe of kingdoms. Unlike its counterpart, it wasn't going to be hampered by the rules that govern the universe. The reverse Dong Xian Sutra was different from the powers of the primary Dong Xian Sutra. The main Dong Xian Sutra power came through the Dong Xian Aura's powers of analysis and inspection. The Dong Xian Sutra did not need to analyze things either. It could just simulate the powers of an opponent. It was kind of like a copying machine. No matter what the content was, it would just copy it. If the main Dong Xian Sutra was a skill, then the reverse Dong Xian Sutra was a violent skill. Hansen's power was suddenly swapped. It became the cold power, which was practically the same. It was different from the main Dong Xian Sutra. The reverse Dong Xian Sutra was violent, but it could only be used after it had been transformed. One was not able to witness the miracles inside it. Even though Hansen was now using a power that was the same as the candle, he had no idea what kind of power it was. Although that was enough, Hansen's power became just like that of the half burned candle. He suddenly felt like the dark was starting to fade away. The cold air went away. The stone pavilion was still the stone pavilion, and the candle was still the candle. Hansen still stood in the pavilion. It felt as if everything was just a dream. Hansen knew that this was not a dream. He still felt the candle's power which was very scary. It was different from before. The power started to get closer to him. It was clearly because Han Sin's power had changed. It thought he was one of them, or it was getting closer because it sensed the same power. Hansen tried to get close to the candle, and the candle did not deny him. The white, half-burned candle still burned with gold fire. There was no longer a cold feeling from it. Beneath the burning candle light, Hansen felt warm. It was like he was bathing in fire. Can you talk to me? Hansen walked in front of the stone table to talk to the white half burnt candle. The white candle was an unknown creature. Obviously, it could not speak or think for itself. Yet, it shook its light to try and communicate. Are you Mirror Moon? Hansen asked. He wasn't sure if his question would be answered. The half burnt candle shook a little. It looked like a confirmation. Do you know Moon God? Hansen asked. The candle's flame shivered a little. It clearly recognized. Moon God. Are you Moon God's gene race? Hansen asked another question. This time, the candle's flame jumped twice. Hansen knew what that meant. Clearly, it was not a gene race that belonged to Moon God. If it jumped twice, it meant no. Hansen's eyes squinted as he asked, Did Moon God try and take you away? He saw the flames of the candle jump once, so Hansen immediately proceeded to ask, Does that mean you did not want to follow her? The candle's light jumped. Hansen was shocked. It looks like there is some truth to the legend after all. It was not that Moon God did not want to take it with her. She just couldn't take it with her. Hansen looked at the candle and asked, In that case, are you willing to follow me? He directly asked that question because there was no need to beat around the bush. If Jade Skin did not react, that meant the strange half-burned candle could not be used to reverse his Jade Skin body. It would have been great if he could take it with him. If he couldn't, he would not be missing out on much. This time, the half-burned candle's flame did not move. After a while, it flickered once. That means you want to follow me, Hansen said with glee. The candle, which was called Mirror Moon, was amazing. It would have been excellent if he could take it with him. It would likely come in handy at some point. This time, the candlelight jumped extra fast. Despite that quick flicker of the flame, the actual body of the candle itself did not move an inch. It was rather strange. 
Hansen felt compelled to ask, can't you move? The candle's flame flickered one time and one time only. That seemed to suggest Hansen was indeed right in his clever deduction. The gene race he was talking to was not able to move by itself. If it needed to move, it would require a helping hand. This was too weird. Gene races at Mirror Moon's level had an annihilation god spirit power, yet it could not move. That was very hard to believe. It can't talk or communicate. It cannot even move. What kind of god spirit gene race is this? Hansen looked at Mirror Moon weirdly before asking, Can I just use my hands to pick you up? After receiving an answer, Hansen put his hands around the half burned candle and picked it up. The moment Hansen picked the candle up, he sensed darkness ahead. He felt as if space and time around him had been twisted by a strange power. Hansen stood where he was, looking ahead with caution. One could not tell what sort of emotions he was feeling. It was like he was seeing a ghost but was not scared. If I tell people what happened, no one will believe what I have seen. Hansen held the candle with a wry smile. He understood why the candle had a strong and cold presence. That presence was not simply a cold power. Hansen had a closer look. He saw that the space above Jade Wall City display many transparent, white ghosts flying. They were all headed into the sky. They weren't just above Jade Wall City. All of space seemed to be filled with transparent ghosts drifting off into the skies. The spirits featured old people, young men, men, and women. It looked like they all knew Geno Arts. Everyone was flying in that direction. This scene was incredibly beautiful. All the dead souls in the universe were flying. It was indescribable how creepy and awesome the scene was. Hansen's vision focused on a giant god hall. The giant god hall had four giant words on it. Geno Hall? Hansen was shocked. Does this mean the white, transparent souls are the souls of creatures that are reincarnating? Does that mean the Geno Hall is a place where the two worlds can connect? Hansen quickly put the candle back on the stone table. The spirits in the Geno Hall instantly disappeared from the sky. When he picked up the candle again, all of that was revealed again. This half-burned candle's power is connected to the concept of reincarnation. Hansen was shocked as he held the candle. Chapter 3236 Elder. For it to be related to the powers that governed reincarnation was something rather spooky. Hansen was still unable to figure out what the half-burned candle actually was. Even an Annihilation class main god had no direct association with the processes of reincarnation. Plus, that half-burned candle was just a wild, evolved god spirit gene race. What is the precise nature of this existence? Who was its master? Hansen wanted to immediately seek out Night God No Moon so he could ask about Mirror Moon's history and power. Although he had the Mirror Moon candle, Hansen could not place Mirror Moon in his sea of soul. Mirror Moon only agreed to follow him. It did not agree to become his gene race. It is okay if I am at least able to bring it around with me. It does not matter if I cannot place it down in the sea of soul. Hansen was chill about that fact. He just grabbed a hold of the half-burned candle and started to make his exit from the candle garden. No. Impossible. The old man with white hair thought Hansen would gain nothing. Who would have known Hansen was able to hold the half-burned candle and leave the candle garden so simply? Mirror Moon was not like the big, dark evil dragon king that meant a lot to the Qin kingdom, but its history was just like the big, dark evil dragon king. It might have been even greater than it. Night God No Moon had left a big mark on the Qin Kingdom. She left behind even more than even Qin Xiao. After all, Qin Xiao only made the Qin Kingdom shine for one generation. Night God No More established the system of law. It made the Qin Kingdom shine all the way up until this day, saving it from being destroyed. The Qin Kingdom had many ultimate elites to help it. That enabled it to experience and endure many crises without falling. It was all, more or less, related to the stability given by their system of law. If this was not the case, why would so many of those elites help the Qin Kingdom if over half of them were not even from the Qin Kingdom? Why would they work to save the country? Mirror Moon, which was a half-burned candle, was not night. God No Moon's gene race. Still, it had a big connection to Night God No Moon. Back in the day, Night God No Moon had only just set up her system of law. It had a lot of trouble getting off the ground and even led to a lot of inner conflicts in the kingdom. One law cost 10,000 lives. Every law that was made involved many lives. It was like a river of blood was formed. When the new laws were pushed to their most trying times, the king suddenly died. 
The nobles who opposed the new laws used that chance to attack Night God No Moon's people, who wanted to follow the law and order. They said things like, the new laws make the god spirits mad, and that is why the king died. If they continue using the new system of law, which goes against the sky, the Qin kingdom will be punished by the sky and destroyed one day. The voices of those against grew louder when the king died. They could not be quelled. The efforts and blood that had been spent on creating the laws to that point were on the cusp of being wasted. At that time, Night God No Moon borrowed Mirror Moon. With the power of that half-burned candle, they broke the system of reincarnation and brought the king back to life. After that, things took a turn. The new system of law succeeded. That was all very scary. The king made an order to keep silent about his revival. The officers who knew about the king coming back to life were all dead. Even amidst the royals, no one talked about that. The legends about Mirror Moon, the half-burned candle, bringing the king back to life were well known. Although the royals did not dare speak about it, many people looked for Mirror Moon. After Night God No Moon vanished, many royals tried to claim Mirror Moon. The old man with white hair was one of them, but he had failed. The half-burned candle, Mirror Moon, was left sitting in the Qin Kingdom's candle garden. Only God knew how many billions of years later had passed. Now, Hansen had been easily able to take the half-burned candle out of Candle Garden. Qin Yuan did not object to Hansen going to Candle Garden because he did not believe Hansen had what it took to take Mirror Moon. Even the Qin family's break world elites could not much such a candle. Besides, Hansen was just a human outsider. He had not expected that Hansen would really be able to bring the Mirror Moon candle away. Qin Yuan could not just sit back and watch as this happened. It was a powerful item that could go against the sky. Even if the Qin family could not use it, he did not want to allow it to be used by an outsider. Qin Yuan's eyes looked very deep. He teleported through space and stared at the mirror moon candle in Han Sen's hands. His eyes turned bright as he said, he did not take the mirror moon candle completely. I am not sure what method he used to have the mirror moon candle let him bring it out of Candle Garden. If Han Sen had already taken mirror moon, Qin Yuan would have been very worried. He was worried that Mirror Moon had a mysterious power. Otherwise, he would not have had to stop Hansen. He now realized that Hansen could not actually take the Mirror Moon candle. This delighted him. He jumped away, going across a lot of space to enter the candle garden. Hansen was holding the half-burned candle on his way out of the garden. The officer who led Hansen there was still waiting for him outside. When he saw Hansen bring the half-burned candle out, the officer was shocked. He did not know the history of Mirror Moon, but he had seen many kings enter Candle Garden and exit with a destroyed look on their faces. Everyone had always returned from that place empty-handed. Upon seeing that Hansen had the half-burned candle in his hands and was now walking out fine, how could anyone not be shocked? The officer went up to him and bowed. Congratulations, Mr. Han. You really are so strong. I have served three generations and I have seen many people enter the candle garden. I have never seen anyone bring anything out with them from that place. You are the only one who has been able to do this, Mr. Han. Hansen wished to say something, but he suddenly saw a shadow come before him. It blocked his way. When he saw that shadow, the officer felt his body tremor and quake. He quickly kneeled. With a trembling voice, he said, Greetings, old Alpha. Qin Yuan ignored the officer. He looked at Hansen and coldly said, Put Mirror Moon down. This is not some item you can randomly take away. Really? The king told me that if I was able to take it that it belongs to me. Hansen was not angry, but he did speak coldly. Jingjun's sickness has not yet been healed. His mind is still a bit messed up. You cannot take his words seriously. Qin Yuan took a step forward. His power was like a mountain or rushing tsunami. He wanted Hansen to bend. Are you saying the Qin Kingdom's king's brain is broken? Hansen directly asked. You are talking like a fart. Nonsense. I think you have no idea that you are going to die today. Qin Yuan's power grew stronger. The scary presence turned into a pair of eyes that had a fire inside. He was going for Hansen as if he wanted to burn him to dust. Isn't that what you meant? Hansen coldly asked. What if it was? Jingjin is my heir. His grandfather's grandfather called me great-grandfather. I am an elder. So, what if I speak the truth? Qin Yuan looked very overbearing. His body raged with fire. I already know one elder of the Qin family, Hansen coldly said. She calls me big brother. 
If we are talking about who the oldest is, you should call me the great dash, great dash, great dash, great granduncle or something. I say it is your brain that has a problem. As an elder, I can say that to you, right? Chapter 3237, Demon Godsword Spirit. You should die for humiliating the Qin family. Not even the king can protect your precious asshole in this place. Qin Yuan looked murderous. He really wanted Hansen dead. Hansen was a famous, evil officer. He was the person most favored by the crown prince, and that was already more than enough to place him squarely in Qin Yuan's bad books. Now, Hansen was trying to trick Qin Jingjin and take the mirror moon candle for himself. He also wanted to get his hands on the dark big evil dragon king. He had to die for these transgressions. Before Hansen could say a word, Qin Yuan's right finger flickered. A scary and invisible sword air went straight for Hansen's chest. Qin Yuan's practice was very scary. To live as long as he had was unnatural. He and Jian Bugu had both studied with the sword, but he had been famous well before Jian Bugu. He was an invincible swordsman in the eyes of the Qin kingdom. Furthermore, the Qin family's butler, in Yang Ting, was in charge of safeguarding the Qin family's bloodline. He had killed many scary elites. Whoever saw his invisible sword was doomed. Even a king might not have survived such an encounter. In fact, Qin Yuan had assassinated the king of another kingdom. There used to be a kingdom called the Yu Kingdom. Qin Yuan killed the king, and the kingdom collapsed soon after. Many of the people killed by the invisible sword were powerful kingdom elites and people who had powerful god spirit gene races. To other kingdoms, the Qin kingdoms in Yangting and Qin. Yuan were scarier than Qin Jingjin who was the actual king. The main feature of the invisible sword was that it was invisible. People were never too certain of the way they died. Qin Yuan used his invisible sword for an obvious purpose. He wished to kill Hansen. Hansen was suppressed by the rules of the universe of kingdoms. He could not use his primary Dong Shen Sutra, and the reverse Dong Shen Sutra did not have the power that enabled him to peep into the workings of the world. Thus, he did not detect the invisible sword air that was thirsty for him. Seeing the sword air already strike Hansen on his wound, Qin Yuan coldly laughed. You're just an evil officer and nothing more. Here he was trying to take my Qin family's Mirror Moon's gene race. You really did have to die for this. In the next second, Qin Yuan's face looked glum. The invisible sword touched Han Sen's clothes, but his body was pushed away by the sword air. He did not get killed by the invisible sword. He was also not injured by it. You, and I have no prior grudge, yet you want to kill me. Han Sen did not want to kill the people of the Qin kingdom. He definitely did not want to kill people from the Qin family. After all, Qin Bai was always nice to him. Qin Yuan should have been trying to help Qin Bai. When Qin Yuan was being mean to him, he did not care. You should die. Qin Yuan was already making another move. He was no longer afraid. His body's got spirit blood. Pulse exploded. It was like a rare demon sword releasing a sword mind that was unleashed upon the sky. The scary sword mind made the whole of Jade Wall City's weapons moan and groan. They shivered and shook as if they were afraid. Qin Yuan didn't just have the Qin family's annihilation god. Spirit blood pulse. He also had an annihilation god spirit blood. Pulse gene race. Demon god sword spirit. His invisible sword was based on the power of the demon god sword spirit. A geno art was birthed out of it. Now, the demon god sword spirit had combined with him. It unleashed all of his power. Qin Yuan waved his finger and summoned a sword air that shocked the sky. It was like a rainstorm of swords heading for Hansen. Old Alpha's demon god sword spirit. This is going in the direction of Candle Garden. He wants to kill Han Senior. Qin Jingjin's face looked terrible. He angrily slammed the table. It disrupted his wounds and made him cough up some blood. Qin Jingjin really hoped Hansen could help extend his life. It was fine if Qin Yuan was not willing to give the dark big evil dragon king to Han Senator that was the Qin kingdom's suppressing Jin race. Qin Jingjin understood his reasoning behind that. Now, Qin Yuan was going to try and murder Han Sen near the Candle Garden. It was like he was killing him too. Qin Yuan, I am currently the Qin Kingdom's king is, not you. How dare you ignore my command? If I do not kill you, I cannot be the king. Qin Jingjin looked murderous. He was furious about the situation. Qin Yuan did not care for his opinion. He did not care about Qin Bai either. Qin Jingjin was afraid that if he died, Qin Bai would end up like a puppet on the throne. 
Killing Qin Yuan, however, was difficult. He was the leader of Yang Ting. He had the scary powers of the Qin family. With Qin Yuan's power, the Qin kingdom did not have someone sufficiently strong enough to oppose them. If Jin Bugu was not willing to fight, it was hopeless. He was one of the few people who could fight Qin Yuan, but Jin Bugu had made a promise not to fight. It was impossible to ask him to kill Qin Yuan. Qin Jingjin's heart was full of ire. He gnashed his teeth, wanting to skin Qin Yuan alive. But he could not make such a command. Qin Jingjin suddenly hated the law. If there was no law, the Qin kingdom's kingly power would not be so scattered. He would not have been so helpless when it came to dealing with Qin Yuan. If I am a king who cannot do anything, then what is the point of me being king? It is no wonder so many kings are willing to earn a bad reputation by becoming a tyrant. I want to be a tyrant too. I want to give my son the throne of a supreme king. Qin Jingjin roared. He could not speak. He was depressed. He spat out more blood. His wounds were getting worse. Before the endless amount of sword air that swirled around the candle garden touched down on Hansen, his body started to move. Hansen's body was swift. He was like the branches of a willow tree. He looked very soft as if he had no power, yet he managed to dodge everything. Not a single stroke of sword air could hurt his body. He did not need his break world power for this. With his combat power, it was already hard for Hansen to find an opponent. He simply used his basic reactions, and the sword airs were unable to hurt him. Qin Yuan's face changed. He never expected anyone could ever have the reaction times needed to dodge his sword air attacks. Something like this had never happened before. Hansen looked at Qin Yuan as he continued to walk forward. His body kept moving. When the sword air was around him, it went back to Qin Yuan. Qin Yuan pushed his invisible swords to the max, but they could not even brush against Han Sen's clothes. They could not prohibit Han Sen's slow advance. It is no wonder he is so ignorant. He has what it takes. It is a shame you cannot fight me. You have the power that can take you into the sky, but I will still kill you. Qin Yuan's eyes looked to be burning even brighter. The invisible sword air became visible. Two weird powers crossed his body. They started to compose a sword and become a solid break world power. When the sword was formed, the whole of Jade Wall City's weapons emerged from their scabbards. The sword element gene races all started to moan and groan. They were angry and restless. It was like they were going to come out of their god spirit marks and fight. Demon god spirit sword. What happened here? Who is in Yang Ting, that monster, fighting? He is using a break world power. All around Jade Wall City, all the elites looked toward the palace, which looked weird. Chapter 3238, Getting Sword. Qin Yuan had the demon god sword. The presence of the sword was like a demon god air that was tearing through the rules of creation. It was like no power was able to dull the sharpness of the sword. This was the first time Han Sen had seen break world powers become solid. It meant Han Sen's break world power had not become a solid level yet. Concerning the break world scales, one could certainly tell Qin Yuan was a whole level stronger than Han Sen. The break world level did not truly determine if power was stronger or weaker. Hansen calmly looked at Qin Yuan and his demon god sword. The Dongxian Sutra was used to break the world again. The whole universe's most basic level was in front of Han Senator. The world Hansen saw now was different from what people in their ordinary eyes saw. The demon god sword was a heavy black sword. It was ridiculously heavy, but its power was truly shocking. If this was an ordinary person going against it, all they would see was a black and overbearing sword. The sword air which was like the flames from a demon god, was on the heavy sword. In Hansen's eyes, it was different. From what Hansen saw, the heavy sword was made of some sort of weird substance chain. It was different from the substances around the place. It just didn't match. From what Hansen sensed, the demon god sword did not just exist alone. It had a strong tie with Qin Yuan's body. The two of them had many connections and ties, all of which one could not see with one's eyes. It looks like the reason break world power can become solid is for using the break world power to build your own rules. It is fighting the rules right now. With the solid part as its base, it will be stronger than using break world powers. You won't get suppressed by the rules of the universe easily either. Hansen now understood the benefits of break world powers becoming solid. Demon God peers through the heart sword. Qin Yuan's eyes looked cold. He waved his demon god sword. 
The heavy sword moved in an amazing way that ignored the fabric of space. It pierced right through Han Sen's heart. Han Sen's body reacted. For some reason, after dodging, the demon god sword had still managed to perforate his chest. The sword pierced through Han Sen's muscles and bones. It pierced right through his heart. The back of the sword plunged through to emerge from his back. While Qin Yuan clutched his sword, he coldly said, It is just like I told you. Even if you have the ability to fight something that can take you up to the sky, today was the day you die. You die here and now. He made it sound as if this was meant to be, and there was no need to worry about it. Is this your break world power? Can it pierce through one's heart? Hansen stood in space and lowered his head. He tried to look at the demon god sword in his chest. Ayo, not bad. Qin Yuan proudly said, it does not just puncture one's heart. If I want to, I can have this sword pierce through anywhere on your body. Even a god spirit cannot dodge the power of my demon god sword. It's such a scary power, Hansen said. If people like you were still living in this world, I would be afraid your opponents would be very busy. My enemies do not need to eat or sleep because they're already all dead, Qin Yuan said. He pulled the demon god sword out of Han Sen's chest. I do not want to be a dead man. Therefore, I must kill you. Han Sen reached out a hand. He clutched the blade of the demon god sword. Humph. Qin Yuan did not believe what Han Sen had just told him. The power of the demon god sword could slash through everything. It was one of the strongest materials in the world. Nothing was able to block how sharp the demon god sword was. Hansen grabbed the blade. He only needed to pull it, and the blade would be broken. Qin Yuan's attempt to pull it back failed. The demon god sword couldn't be moved. It made Qin Yuan frown. He gathered up more power to pull the sword back. The demon god sword still failed to move. It was like it was buried amidst a tangle of roots. It made Qin Yuan's face change. He looked at Han Sen's hand. Han Sen was holding the sword in his hand. The part he was holding onto was looking red, and the red color was still spreading. It was like the veins buried beneath the skin were now starting to show. The demon god sword's body had veins spread across it. Han Sen's hand, which was holding onto it, was at the center. Qin Yuan felt rather unsafe. He tried his best to pull the demon god sword back. He tried his hardest, but the demon god sword still wouldn't budge. Qin Yuan was even more scared because he was the one who generated the demon god sword. Now, he felt his power in the demon god sword was blocked. It was like a pipe that was clogged and blocked through concrete. Han Sen was holding the sword with a face that did not change. His eyes, however, flashed with the colors of the rainbow. The blood power in his hands kept going into the demon god sword. Previously, Hansen had only wanted to use the Dong Shin, Sutra's power to fight Qin Yuan, but the power of the demon. God Sword struck Hansen and activated the Blood Pulse Sutra's power. It enabled him to block the demon God Sword's power. This was the first time Hansen had used the Dong Shin Sutra and Blood Pulse Sutra, two break world powers, together. With those two break world powers, Hansen learned something amazing. The break world power of the Dong Shin Sutra enabled him to change the rules. The Blood Pulse Sutra's break world power enabled things to be returned to their origin. When the two powers applied their magic to the Demon God Sword, Hansen noticed he was able to use the Dong Shin Sutra to slash the connection between the Demon God Sword and Qin Yuan. The Blood Pulse Sutra, meanwhile, could make the Demon God Sword return to its origin. It was like it was being reborn and was no longer controlled by the whims of Qin Yuan. Because the Dongshin Sutra and Blood Pulse Sutra had only achieved their break world powers, their level was not that high. Therefore, modifying the Demon God Sword was not something that could be done in a hurry. Now, only the section Hansen was holding was modified. Other areas of the sword were still being modified, just at a much slower pace. Even so, the power of the Demon God Sword was useless to Han Senator Qin Yuan wanted to use the Demon God Sword's power to cut Han Sen's hand, but that was impossible. Plus, the humans of the universe of kingdoms did not practice. They all depended on outside powers. A solid break world weapon was generated. That meant people put many powers into their break world weapons. Now, a break world weapon was not working. Qin Yuan had lost half of his power. Since Qin Yuan had lost half of his power, competing via strength seemed unlikely. Even in his best period of time, he could not fight Hansen with power. Qin Yuan shouted loudly. He used a power that was kind of like drinking milk. The demon god sword, 
which was still in Han Sin's hand, could not be moved. The red veins went all over the demon god sword. Ping. When the demon god sword was fully red, it shook away Qin Yuan's hands. Qin Yuan shockingly looked at the demon god. Sword that was in Han Sin's chest. He could not believe the demon god sword he generated could no longer be controlled by him. It even ended up shirking his hand away. Chapter 3239 In Yang Ting Qin Yuan's eyes looked shocked. Hansen reached out his hands to stop the demon god sword's handle. He then pulled the demon god sword out of his chest. While the demon god sword was being pulled out of his body, Hansen's wounds immediately started to heal. The wounds instantly faded from sight. Not a single mark or scar remained. As this happened, the demon god sword was full of red. It all looked like veins. The moment Hansen pulled the demon god sword out, the demon god sword's sword air started to rise. It was like it was setting the sword's body on fire. The entire demon god sword was covered in a red flame. The red fire started to fade away. The demon god sword looked like it had been reborn in a fire. The heavy black sword was burned by the red flame. It became smaller and shorter. It changed from a heavy sword into a long sword. It also adopted a more delicate appearance. Hansen held the modified demon god sword. He swung it through the air. Qin Yuan's eyes were filled with disbelief as the demon god sword kicked up a plume of demon god sword air. It was scarier than his pure power earlier. No. It is impossible. Qin Yuan was so shocked that he stumbled back. He had lived for a very long time, but he had never seen anything like this happen. The demon god sword was his break sword weapon. It was an item he had created. Even if there was a stronger elite that could break the demon god sword, that elite could not take it away and warp its ownership. Hansen had not only just taken the demon god sword, but he had adopted it. He had taken the power of the demon god sword for himself. If Qin Yuan had not seen this with his own two eyes, he would never have believed such a thing was possible. It was just Qin Yuan who couldn't believe it. Many of the elites focusing on the fight could not believe what their eyes were telling them. Have my eyes gotten too old to see things all funny? Did Hansen take the demon god sword for his own usage? Thousand Mile Reach could not believe it. You are not seeing things incorrectly. Jia Shurjin looked weird as she confirmed that was what she was seeing too. Once again, Hansen had surpassed all her expectations. People like Qin Yuan, who was considered an invincible elite of the Qin Kingdom with his demon god sword, were names that shocked the universe. He was a person many kings feared upon merely hearing the name. Now, the demon god sword was in Hansen's hands. It also appeared to be an even stronger weapon. Hansen slowly raised the demon god sword. The scary sword air locked onto Qin Yuan. Now, Qin Yuan was scared. When he was young, he was a very lucky man. Even the king was not as lucky as him. Many people of the Qin kingdom had already become yellow soil, yet he was still alive. Only God knew how many years it had been since Qin Yuan last felt the sensation of fear. When this terror fell upon him again, he realized that no matter how powerful he had become or how much of a reputation he had earned, he was just as scared of dying as anyone else was. He was perhaps even more afraid. When Hansen waved the demon god sword in his direction, Qin Yuan's eyebrows kept jumping. His body flashed like thunder. A sword spirit arose from his back. It was Qin Yuan's Annihilation Class Jean Race Demon God Sword Spirit. Now, the Demon God Sword Spirit did not look so scary. That was because half of its power was used by Qin Yuan to make the Demon God Sword. Thus, the Demon God Sword's spirit power was extremely weak. Qin Yuan knew he could not dodge the Demon God Sword's power. Even though he had a Demon God Sword Spirit, he could not evade the attack of the Demon God Sword. Only the demon god sword spirit's power could fight back the demon god sword in a bid to perhaps negate it. The demon god sword spirit was too weak. Half of its power had been used to create the demon god sword. It was so weak that it could not block or cancel the demon god sword power. Qin Yuan gave up the demon god sword spirit to get rid of the demon god sword's lock on him, forcing it to fight the demon god sword spirit. He knew the demon god sword spirit would be broken by the demon god sword but he had no choice. He had to do this to stay alive. After leaving the demon god sword spirit, Qin Yuan still had the Qin family's god spirit blood pulse and another gene race. After summoning a gene race combination, he did not look back. He sent out a signal. Many shadows appeared. They were not as strong as Qin Yuan, but they were not much weaker. 
These people were members of Yang Ting, and they wielded the most basic powers of the Qin Kingdom. Unless it was a life-or-death moment, even Qin Jingxin, who was the king of the Qin Kingdom, could not use them. Only Qin Yuan and Yang Ting members could use the Yang Ting. The Yang Ting members were clad in black clothes and robes. They wore masks that were faceless and white. All of the shadows appeared next to the candle garden and surrounded the area. Han Sen's demon god sword struck the demon god sword spirit, but the two of them did not create much of an impact. The demon god sword spirit, which was a transparent and light shadow, was absorbed by the demon god sword. After absorbing the demon god sword spirit, the demon god sword underwent some changes. It was like it had some sort of spirit. It left Han Sen's hand to hover in front of him. Bizi's tea. The whole system was illuminated by a sword light. Countless swords departed their scabbards. The more famous they were, the more they reacted. All of the sword lights went into the sky like they were fighting some strange power. Hansen did not have time to figure out what happened to the demon god sword. He grabbed the demon god sword. At this moment, Hansen felt the demon god sword was different. It had once been a weapon. Now, it was a life force. It was a new demon god sword spirit. Compared to the old demon god sword spirit, this demon god sword spirit was far stronger. It was a pure, break world god spirit gene race. A hundred and Yang Ting members surrounded the candle garden. They had a weird black air around them. It was unknown what sort of gene race power that was. The black fire looked like it had a soul. It was all going into Qin Yuan's body. Qin Yuan's body started to generate a cloud of black smoke. Qin Yuan's body looked very weird. He had many black dragon scales and a dark horn. He was like a human black dragon. When the Yang Ting's elites gathered their power over Qin Yuan, his presence became stronger. He became scarier. He became even scarier than when he used break world power. More and more in Yang Ting people arrived. Their bodies had a black flame. It helped Qin Yuan's black flame. The Yang Ting members had been elites for a few generations, and all of them were unique. There was so much power inside Qin Yuan. How scary was that power? Hansen was holding the demon god sword while coldly looking at Qin Yuan. Although Qin Yuan could die, the Yang Ting's members were members of the Qin family. They were the basis of the Qin family. They used all their power on Qin Yuan. If Hansen beat them, that meant the Yang Ting would be trashed in its entirety. Qin Yuan uses a gene race. That must be the dark big evil dragon king because that gene race has the secret. It is no wonder that when Qin Yuan heard about me wanting the dark big evil dragon king, his reaction was so volatile. Han Sen's eyes looked like thunder. He held on to the demon god sword. On this day, even the old man Sky King was there. He would have killed Qin Yuan and had the Yang Ting be buried with him. Chapter 3240 Black Dragon Promise Qin Yuan's back had the shadow of a black dragon on it. It looked like it was there, but it was not there. It was in the mist. It did not look real. Hansen waved the demon god sword spirit and mustered an invisible sword air to come lashing out at Qin Yuan. That sword air was unavoidable. Dong. The sword air struck Qin Yuan, but it was blocked three feet behind him. He could not stick it through. The shadow of a dragon wrapped around Qin Yuan. It looked like it was there, but it was not there. It blocked the demon god sword spirit's invisible sword air. In the meantime, the Yang Ting members spoke spells aloud as if they were honest believers. When a few hundred Yang Ting members spoke out a mysterious spell to the black air, the whole of Jade Wall City lit up. The giant man-made city, ringed by a jade wall, had many of its buildings glow with a mysterious light. If one looked closer, one would find that those lights were mystical spells. The whole of the Jade Wall City looked like a real, giant dragon was surrounding it. That real dragon released light. It combined with Qin Yuan's dragon shadow, making Qin Yuan's body scarier. Hansen could not help but frown. Qin Yuan's body power was not his alone. The power he had was scarier than an annihilation god spirit. In the kingdom, Qin Jingjin looked strange. He seemed surprised and excited at the same time. The old alpha has been pushed to this limit and used the black dragon promise. Wow, he really has been pushed right to the edge. The whole of Jade Wall City was in shock. Many old people, who had lived a few generations in Jade Wall City, looked at the old buildings around in confusion. Jade Wall City had many old buildings. Regardless of how much they developed the city, 
These old buildings were never torn down or displaced. The old courtyards' houses, broken old temples, towers made of bricks, model churches, old monasteries, lots of small stone houses, and the newly built buildings that did not fit in with the architecture of the old buildings glowed with a scary light. On the old, broken plaza, every stone plate glowed with a god light and a god presence. It was like some scary creature was waking up from olden times. An old man strangely looked at the monastery with god light. He said to himself, the stories my great-grandfather told me about were true. That old monastery is a mysterious place. The citizens of Jade Wall City observed the old buildings around them. It was hard to believe. The buildings glowing with a gold light were where they used to play. They would even defecate in such old houses. The Qin Kingdom had grown stronger over the past thousand years. They rarely had to use the Black Dragon Promise's power. In the past few decades, even the people of Jade Wall City had not been able to see the Black Dragon at work. In an old temple, some old people started to chant. In an old house, ghosts started to cry. In a monastery, women were heard praying. In the church, priests were praying to God. Every mysterious place had scary power exploding out of it. It made Jade Wall City's draconic shadows amplify their brightness. Qin Yuan's dragon shadow started to look a lot more real. It was like a real black dragon flying above him. The demon god sword spirit in Han Sen's hands had already been swung ten times, and each time it had been blocked by Qin Yuan's black dragon. It was unable to slash it at all. Qin Yuan looked as if he had an infinite power buff. He was too scary to imagine. Hansen thought, the Qin kingdom is one of the seven kingdoms. I do not know how many billions of years it has lasted, but it really is very scary. For Jade Wall City to have this sort of protection power, it must make it just as strong as the power in an Annihilation class god temple. Clearly, I underestimated the seven kingdoms that have remained here for billions of years. Hansen, you lied to the king. You have made friends in secret. You are always jealous. You kill the innocent. You trick the crown prince. Now, you want to take the Qin Kingdom's suppression treasure. Are you not aware of the fact that is a big crime? It is certainly not forgivable. Thus, you should be killed. Qin Yuan stood on the nine skies. A black dragon was circling his body. He looked like a god looking down on Han Sen as his god voice thundered through the skies. It was like the sound of a punishment being bestowed. The Jade Wall City civilians and its many nobles, who had been attracted by the weird scenes concerning the old buildings, saw and heard all of this. Because Han Sen was already famous for being an evil officer, this was all over Jade Wall City. The ordinary citizens who heard Qin Yuan speak and behave like a god with a streak for doling out judgment already had an impression in their minds. They hated Han Sen so they shouted out about needing to kill the evil officer. The loyal officers who really hated Hansen all shouted, God has eyes. Kill the evil officer. This kind of slang was shared by everyone in Jade Wall City. They all gathered, wanting to see the evil man be killed. Although Hansen knew Qin Yuan was not speaking the truth, Hansen did not bother trying to explain. He only looked at Qin Yuan, who was in the sky. Qin Yuan could not be looked at. He was too strong. His hair was as white as snow. A god light shone around him. A black dragon was circling him. He was like the Qin Kingdom's battle god that could protect the kingdom. Hansen, what do you have to say for yourself? Qin Yuan looked at Hansen from high above. In the kingdom, Qin Jingzhen looked at Qin Yuan up in the sky. He felt doubtful. He looked as if he was wrestling with indecision. Qin Bai ran toward him, crying and pleading. Father, please save Han Senator, he is not a bad guy. He has never done anything bad. It was my fault. I always drag him into doing crazy things. This was not his fault. Qin Bai knew how scary the old Alpha was, and he had seen this kind of formation before. It made him terrified. Qin Jingzhen looked at Qin Bai. He did not speak, but his eyes started to solidify. Bai, my son, carry me out of the palace. Qin Jingzhen stood. Up. His eyes looked like they were on fire. He slowly spoke, word by word. Save? Han. Sin. He did not want to go out for Han Senator, it was for his only son, Qin Bai. If Qin Yuan was not killed after he died, Qin Bai would be unable to control the kingdom. Qin Bai was delighted to hear that. He crawled up to hold Qin Jingxin. Two tracks still scored his face. The father and the son, the two of them, wore casual clothing to leave the palace. Only one officer followed them. 
They didn't draw the attention of anyone. Qin Jingjin's wounds had not been healed yet, so he could not walk fast. He walked for a while before coughing into a towel. He quickly put the towel away. He did not want Qin Bai to see it. Father, are you okay? Qin Bai asked with worry. It is fine. Your father did not secure this country for your reign yet. I am fine. Qin Jingjin laughed and said, Let's go. We cannot save Hansen if we are too late. Hearing the need to save Hansen, Qin Bai immediately asked, How do we save Hansen? How can we stop old Alpha? He is not the one we have to stop. Qin Jingjin looked at the old temple. He had Qin Bai help him get there. Qin Jingjin led Qin Bai to the old temple. He had Qin Bai kneel before the stairs. They bowed three times. Afterward, Qin Jingjin said, I am the Qin Kingdom's king, Qin Jingjin. I have brought my son here to greet you. Please, take away the dragon heir, Alpha.